do the recap. We should be a difficult one, a considering. <laughs> yes, we did. A crazy oh, bitch. Um, then, um, yeah, there's a lot of fire. Uh, and then some bears, more fighting, uh, people popping out of mirrors, thwarting of people's plans to go back into mirrors, ropes, uh, Otola escaping due to agreement that, uh, Impale had made with people. Uh, nobody else escaping and just capturing them all. And guards dying. And also, giant flying monkeys. Giant flying monkeys were a key feature for this particular adventure. Uh, I don't think it was a key feature. It was the ending. It was the bow on the finished wrapped product. Correct. <laughs> now... We'll start off effectively with what happened after the combat has been finalized and the one that had attempted to run away was rounded up by big scary stupid monkey that broke through the warehouse wall. While other big flying monkey has gone with their companion to try and put out the fire, spreading their own chaos as it proved that other warehouses were set ablaze. Yeah. Uh, they were very successful with that, if I remember correctly, with them using the fucking carts to just scoop gallons carts. out of the... Yeah. Yeah, just massive fucking amounts of water just being... Woo. <laughs> and so they were cool basic... Sounds. I didn't actually say how effective it was, because there was no rules given, but I was saying it was definitely assisting and helping. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. They are currently seven brain. Seven brain still pretty effective. It is. Yeah. Smarter than Finn. It's one higher than Finn. <laughs> not gonna, not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And for those that are still in the warehouse, which would be Tola. And our lovely, lovely, lovely Navi. What are you doing? Well, waiting. Just waiting. Waiting. You know, I mean, all the guys got tied up by Samuel, so. Yeah. And all their fucking gear removed. All we're doing is waiting for everybody to come back together. Time would tick on. Eventually, the arcane magic that was set upon you would fail. There would be some moss still lingering on your shoulder. Alexandra, as you return back to your natural form, and the magic fades away. The flames have been not entirely put out, but they have certainly lessened in this hour of work rushing from one place to another as the smoke rises above. My mouth feels hairy. The fan is doing its thing again, right? God damn it. Fucking... I'll be back. Yeah. We'll find out if they're heading back to you after the hour, or if they're still going to be working out on the fire. But eventually, you would all return back to your normal form, unless Navi... Someone's more. Okay, everything's gone. Is it still there? No. Good. Oh. Shrink. Um. I can still hear it myself. Well, not the fan, but I can hear all your movement. It's weird. It's like noise suppression isn't I'm... working, but it doesn't. It's so. I hate it. <laughs> You're fine doesn't bother me that much, to be honest with you. Eh, Dad's got an auditory thing, I'm assuming. That's why he gets all upset -y. He must have had. Yeah. Just making sure he's aware, and what are you doing yourself, Alexandra, as you return back to your normal form? The flames aren't completely put out, but you and Swimmer are together. 
Uh, Alexandra is just gonna pick up, pick up the severed arm. Uh, look around the people that are around here. Uh, awkwardly wave and then start walking back to uh, uh, the warehouse we were previously at. Grabbing a couple of guards along the way, just being like, hey, I need you for something. Roll insight. Character sheet here. I'm pale for being looking at some naughty images. Nah, she's just been reading one of the books that, uh... Might want to take Otola off the map. Sophia gave him. Insight of two for a total of six. You're not entirely... You think these people are very happy to see their saviour waving at them with a severed arm as you're going off. <laughs> feel proud of yourself. In fairness, I do have a passive intimidation of, um... Uh, actually, not as high as I thought, but if you're using athletics, it's 17. Yeah, but you were just a giant horned demonic ape that was going around with a severed arm and some strange thing in your shoulder spreading. Oh, I, I'm, I'm well aware of the image. <laughs> Alexandra's well aware of the image. And she absolutely waved using the severed arm. Yeah, I 100% knew that. I didn't even need it. Ah. <laughs> yeah. There would probably be a few guards working to try and put out the fires, and you grab a few all of their shift. Presenting your symbolage, you start heading back to the group. Is Mumi Aiki still here as Boomer? She got nosebleed. Yeah, I just wonder if she was still able to hear as thought she goes gone gone. Okay. She's probably gone gone. And we had another person just get BRB because I got to do some watering. Okay. So it's just you and Tavian as you come back to the warehouse with few guards following behind. Hey Tavian. I see that our other companions are currently zoning out. Did, did he also? Alexandra waves his, <laughs> her hand in front of Tavian's face. It does not respond, it's just a corpse. Well, then. Um... This is an awkward moment where somehow <laughs> everyone went BRB but you in unison. <laughs> Alexandra just turns to the guards. Yeah, they do this a lot. Um, don't worry about it. Uh, so over there is Gabriel Kazar. Uh, if you happen to have any manacles, please put them on him. Uh, these two. Bold, uh, this one's name is Boulder, this one's Fang. They also need to be arrested and brought to the Inquisitorial Estate and put under our custody. Uh, same with Gabriel for the time being until a further s uh, secured and interrogation can be conducted. After such, it would obviously be given over to the Crown. Any questions? Um, what exactly happened to you? Long story short, we walked into an ambush that we knew exactly what was going to happen, and the lady I took this arm from is the reason why this building caught on fire, and is amongst the organization that has... Well... They're tied to the organization that has caused, caused the other building fires. 
an organization that we have thoroughly put on the back foot, although is not out of the situation anymore. They're, they're still a threat. But less of one. But at least one hand down. In pale, real quick. <laughs> while <laughs> while Alexandra was getting some guards and bringing them back to the warehouse, is there anything you would have liked to do? Because it would have taken them a little bit of time to arrive. Honestly, I would just kind of be boasting proudly. However, Tavian would be dealing with something else instead. Because the problem is, as I would be boasting in the great and pale voice, I very carefully talk to Tavian in their mind as I stare at them proudly. To others, it yeah. might sound like this, being like, Oh, good job, everybody. This is wonderful. We caught so many criminals. Where in reality, I think Tavian would be getting these thoughts where very much Impale is saying, I know you can't message me back, but I need you to do this favor for me. I can't physically talk openly as I have the thing around my neck. It watches everything we do. So... I can only communicate through you one-sided. I need this one, Boulder and Fang, interviewed. Issue is, is that, and this is the best way I can phrase it, are deal bound. Usually people who are deal bound have to follow the rules of the deal. I am dealing with the person that is I am hunting. That means these two are not likely to just let the information out. So you have to do the roundabout way. You might need Alexandria's help for this one. Use me as a last resort for the answers I would get would make it so that they'd never be able to talk. I have some uh, bad news. Oh, you're back. Never mind. Yeah, no, just, oh, I've been here. You be no, you were. You be our be the same time as everyone else. We were calling for you, speaking to you. you did not Wait, respond. I, uh, no, I'd been talking this whole time. Nope. No. Fuck. Okay. Nope. Weird. Sorry. Um, I don't know what happened there. I'll check the recording back and see if it's just a long stretch of silence on my end. It's picking y'all up fine. Looks like it's picking me up fine, too. Um, yeah, no, he'll, um, actually just straight up cast the message spell back so only she could hear it and just goes, Yeah, I can take care of that. Any other information I need? Because you can't fucking hear it. I mean, sadly, I hate to tell you this. It's message is a verbal component. Mm-hmm. But the thing with messages, only the person that you're sending it to can hear it. Yeah, but that means that if you're saying it openly, it's like, oh, okay. But you're just keeping it simple, so you're good. Mm -hmm. So, I think the key things I could tell you, for memory's sake, is one, these are the people we found in the mirrored pits. Mm -hmm. So basically, that. whoever I'm wearing the necklace for mm -hmm. worked with these people. Mm -hmm. So they're not involved with the Tola or um, Theotoria. They're involved with him. So messing with these two could cause me trouble. Not mm -hmm. because of any deals, but because they're connected to him. So I can't be seen interviewing these two. Mm -hmm. Number two, they are the enforcers directly connected to the witch doctor. Or I would basically say the person I'm hunting. Mm -hmm. Which he knows as the witch doctor, because you shared that information. He just right, kinda... but the... Why I mention that is that they are connected to them directly, since we also witnessed them. And even though Impale doesn't remember at the moment, Impale has a strong feeling they've seen these individuals before in the past. Mm, okay. That's the key thing. So they're way more vital. 
Mm -hmm. And lastly, why they mentioned about if Impale gets involved and not and they won't be able to answer questions after Impale's done is because very much Impale is not afraid to figure out how to get those answers out by their means. You don't know how. Uh, torture. But, <laughs> well, you never witnessed what Impale has done. Nope. Ain't got a fucking clue. But the idea is that you're the ones that could get questions out, and they would suggest having Alexandria come to try to help with um, mm -hmm. Zone of Truth, if you're able to cast that. Mm -hmm. Which will probably be tomorrow. Caster, yeah. But, yeah, but I got gotcha. you. <laughs> uh, uh, looks at my spells. Well, about that. Not right now. Do you already have is, it? I don't have it. I do already have it, but also I don't have any second level spells left. Yep, yeah, so tomorrow. Uh, Tavian <laughs> just kind of nods. And then... Alright, thanks for the help, Impale. Uh, we get everything rounded up here. You can go do what you need to do. Just out loud to everybody. And as you're saying that it's effectively when Alexandra would a turn stepping through the door with the guards. And if you were here for that moment when they turned around and spoke to the guards, it was a you mess. know what you... It was a disaster. Exactly. <laughs> Waving the hand, just, hello! <laughs> uh, right, and I'll need a report on that to give to my higher-ups on what happened here with the other warehouses. Well, if it's all tied together. Just blink. Yeah, you'll get one. With, you know, some stipulations that are accredited to the Inquisition. You understand. It's not me that needs to understand, it's my higher-ups. Mm. Yep. Very well then. They'll move forward and start marking up Kajar and lifting up the already bound individuals uh, onto their shoulders. I stop them from taking Boulder and Fang specifically. Don't they're being you... brought to the ink. They're being brought to the. So you weren't there, James. Uh, they're being brought to the um, basement. Okay. Sorry, I did miss that part. Okay. But I was here. I didn't. I must have zoned out. <laughs> Honestly, yes. That's but probably I... explains oh, it's super uh, hard. But I specifically mentioned the part where she was flailing the arm around. <laughs> I was yeah. here. I must have just missed a spot. Yeah, you zoned out immediately after for the, like the next five, eight minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> well, if it happens. Yeah. Do you allow this in pale? And welcome back, Tiger. Oh, well, obviously, Impale would allow it. Yeah. Why would Impale stop criminals from being taken by the guards? Mm -hmm. Impale would follow at first. But then... Well, let's just say... Impale would have to go back to someone to finish their job. A.K.A. Gary, I had to go let the person know. Well, I helped them. Didn't work out. Quite true. Well, they did it. Uh, I'm told they no, no. escape, but they did escape, but they didn't escape. Huh? Uh, we didn't. I'm saying it as a joke because basically you have their arm. Oh. Well, you can tell for the moment that your marking isn't reacting. So, even though you need to go and inform them that you did your best, it doesn't seem like you broke any claws. That would make you pay the price. Deals done, then. One of many. And so, so, so 
Navi, with everyone gathered together and guards having shown up, is there anything you would like to do? Are we just chilling? In that case, is everyone heading back to Alexandra's domain? Is that a question or a statement? That was a question. Is everybody heading back with the guards? Are you doing something else? I mean, I'm going initially with the guards, and then I'm going to go basically talk with Mr. H or the Mr. Fancy Boots. Understandable. I think you would arrive with Mr. Fancy Boots first. Is anyone splitting off to try and follow Impale as they split from the group? No. I trust them. If Nava, Navi wants to do that, that's up to them, but... They know what they're doing, they have to not get caught, so... Begrudgingly, no. I am good. Not this time. You lie! I see Alexandria there and Tavian. They followed me. <laughs> Let me just fix that by deleting their existence. Simon is also here. Like, damn, everyone's there. Oh, you return to where you last saw them. Heading into the area, glancing around, but you don't see hide or head of the familiar hat or the feather. All those very fancy boots. Fair enough. You want to see the same bartender who's currently wiping the desk. Take a nice stroll in. Walking in casually, looking about my area. Do you have the same clothes and mask on that you had last time? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, it's, it's you. I have a message for you. Ooh. Is it a good message? Bad message? Is it spam? Uh, if it's not spam, know. you can throw it away. I didn't read it. I don't think they would put spam in a letter. As they'll reach under the desk and pull it out, offering it over towards you. Hmm. Juggle a knife out, slash the top open, look at the letter inside. Inside, you would see a mirror about the size of your palm set in, and some simple words on the top. First deal kept, your reward is here to keep. The next ones will come shortly. Enjoy your break. hard to take a break when someone's always looking at you. Oh, wait, I'm talking to myself. Now, you remember the details you asked for this particular item, correct? Correct. They would match them, including the particular words. I believe it was words. Oh, it is. It, it's funny. Uh... But you have your at it. mirror. The glint, you can see the reflection of yourself within it. Such a good thing they made. And also, key thing to solving something. Anyway. I hear fumbling behind me. But basically, Impale gives this person a gold and being like, 
Thank you for your services. You're welcome. Uh, Lassie, sir, I'm not entirely sure what you are. But you got your letter. I'm not sure what your friend wanted with you, but they've had enough. We'll let them know if they ever want to talk with me. They can find me. Uh, I don't really know who they are, but if I see them again, I'll let them know. Indeed. They always have their eyes about. That sounds disturbing, but sure. Someone got my joke. Skips out of the place happily. You just hear a mumble in the back. Wait, that was a joke? I thought it was a threat. And you're gone. Is there anywhere else you'd be going? No, I'll be heading back to the group. I also gotta check on one thing. Okay, so if you're heading back to the group, just give me a quick D100 roll. Is there issues with the roll? Um, issues in the room. I said, could you have give me a D one hundred roll? I did roll a D one hundred. It's not come through for me. Do I need to refresh? They got an eighty nine. I do need to refresh. I got an eighty nine. Not the mystical number, but you'll be able to go around safely. You don't see anything in particular that stands out. Terrifying, but I will continue on. And with that, you'll be able to catch up to the group, because I picture the group as just walking, not particularly rushing to get back. Correct. I'll be right back, though. See you in a moment. As for the rest of you, Oh, that's not what I wanted. As for the rest of you, you'll be able to get back safer. No more threats peek out or threaten you. And you arrive to the familiar, overgrown halls of Alexandra's home. Nice. Seeing the green that is practically building a barrier around this manor and overcoming it. Looking more and more like a ruin every day. Navi, can you please stop growing just so much? I would appreciate it. But why does it keep growing so much? Shrug. Can't authorize the use of fire because obviously it would burn down. Eh, whatever. Not my problem. Must Jesus. Hi, Jeeves. Jeeves steps out after you pass Miguel and Julio in the current relaxed pulse, who gives you a wave as their mouths are currently full of whatever food they've currently got them stuffed with. Also, Alexandra casually walking on the 16 HP left. Time. Welcome back, ma'am, and the rest of the company. How did your ventures fare? Eh, I got a hand on the situation. They glance back to the hand. Very astute, ma'am. Turn order still up, Gary. <laughs> I see your funny bone is still being tickled. They'll slowly just glance over to Tavian. I miss Tola. <laughs> he just says it that joke. 
the eyes slowly turn to wind pale. Wait, are they there? I... I miss them too. <laughs> but then they just finally just look over to the dead, the fish-eyed Samuel and Nafi before a just quiet breath escapes them. Well, welcome back, and... Yes, I know, Jeeves, we don't pay you enough to deal with our bullshit, but I thank you nonetheless. Should I get a box with some ice to preserve your new trophy? Uh... Well... It's... Yeah, it would probably be better to give it off to those who need it. Was that enough a joke, ma'am? No, quite, quite literally, this is... We fought her, Jeeves, and we won. Well, won in the sense of she's rather disarmed at the moment. Ah, uh... in that case, <laughs> would you like to deliver it yourself, or would you prefer if I went down? Well, gesturing behind her at the guards, we have some other people to deliver, so I think we sh we should all go to make sure it's all secure. Am I sleeping in your basement? His eye twitches. I... Do, do you want to? If we're all there, they'll not be able to break out like they did last time. Oh, that's not gonna happen again. Don't take precautions, you never know. Precautions have been made. I'm not the only one in this in, in this whole, you know, organization, Davian. You know, with how hard you work, sometimes it feels like it. <laughs> I need a mat. Technically, ma'am, you are the leader of your own branch of this organization at this point, when recognized by the king. Oh god, the Irregular is an official branch of the Inquisition. Yeah, and you were made unofficial leader. How does that make you feel, Alexandra, with that much weight on your shoulders? I'm not the unofficial leader. You're No, you're the official leader. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. How does that, uh, how's that doing for you? I need the mat. Every terrible mistake I have gets put on paper under your name. I know. It just smiles. I In I know too well. Indeed, you already have the etchings of several animal inc incidents put down under your name in the Irregulars. Mm. Uh, There'll be probably a few more. Flood flying monkeys, stampeding animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna go take a look through the armory. You guys do whatever you're gonna do. I'm gonna... Take those people down to the basement, lock them up, don't throw away the key because we need to talk to them later. The guards themselves are looking a bit confused, like, uh, so do we leave them to you here, or would you prefer us to come down to the basement with you? Are these the city guards? Yes. But they're the ones you grabbed. Alexandra just turns to look at them. They heard everything. She forgot they were here. <laughs> I'm just smiling. They don't know where the basement is. It's fine. But I now know they know. They but now they know it exists. Yeah, I'm gonna need you guys to um forget everything you've said under the. You know, I know who you are. I know where you live. Yada 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 yada. We been here, done that. God, I'm the baddie. You really are. We'll just leave them here with the guards of the household and go on with your days. Just forget the word basement exists. We're bringing them into the literal basement to... of this building. He smiles. Mag Miguel and Tulia just comes on over grabbing mm -hmm. some of the bodies. Mm-hmm. So mouths full that they just make shooing motions at the guards. Yeah. 
what is what are they eating currently? It looks like they're eating tacos. Hmm. I still one of the tacos and walk off. Uh, soft or hard shell? Oh, that is that. Oh, then I don't still one of those. Nasty. <laughs> If I, if I wanted to eat fucking uh, the tortilla chips, I would just go get tortilla chips. So you head off after considering the food for a moment before I was like, nah. Yeah. Um, who else is heading to the basement? Oh. I envision that the Impale is following. I know Tavian isn't, but who else is moving as well. Is Navi following them or going elsewhere? Navi will follow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before Bottle. yeah, before they walk too far, because 100 feet is a good range, uh, I just point back at Alexandra, and in her head, yeah, the um, the two with the whips we need. Be roboting. Oh, I am? Not for me. Uh-oh. No, you're perfectly Not for clear me for either. Me. Oh, let me pop in, pop out. Yeah. Right. Hi. Hello. And in you. Yeah. Just, we need information about who they work for and who they were working with at the time. Um, Impaled desperately needs this because she is under a type of duress where she can't ask these questions directly. And if she asks them well, they won't be able to talk anymore, so you need to get as much information out of them as you can. Understood. I uh, recommend using the Zone of Truth spell. Yeah, that was the original plan to start with. Alright, well, I didn't know. I'm just relaying information that was relayed to me. Oh, I appreciate it, and it is important information to be shared. They uh they are not with the people that they uh that are trying to sink the city. They're with the people from the north. They are two separate factions. I know that much. One's playing the other. It's just a matter of who's playing who. Yeah. Well, good luck. I'm gonna go through all of the old weapons I may or may not have crafted and see if I can find any that would be suitable. How pissed is your dad going to be when I steal some of my equipment back? Uh... Yeah, we'll find out. Probably not fairy, but also mildly myth. Depends on what you take. Hmm. We'll see. So you head off, and the rest begin to head down. So would you like to describe how you get to your basement? The majority of the party will know about this time. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Alexandra, after making sure that everyone is either looking away or already in the nose in the know uh is going to walk over to this statue that's in the garden and uh give it a high five with a high five done the arm seems to creak for a moment before the statue itself begins to slide to the side or as if it's doing a little bit of a dance in the movement. And revealing underneath stairs that go downwards. Ta-da! That's what an overinflated military budget gets you. But it does help you give a real handle on any situations that arise. <laughs> uh, 
And the other is stupid. With the introduction to the high-fiving statue. Any response from the group that are following? Or are they just non-phased by the statue? I might be more focused on my other thing, so... That won't be my main focus. That's my argument. Understandable. And nothing from Navi who's just following along. I'll chill and relax. Oops, nope. No, That's not what following. I wanted. We just follow on. And so, we begin to follow down into the dark. And it's just pure darkness with no gleam of light would reveal itself in front of you the deeper and deeper you go down. Hearing the sound of grinding stone behind you as the statue slides back into place, sealing within as you go deeper, deeper down. Quiet fills the space below along with a scent of blood that lingers as each of you would arrive for Alexandra and Jeeves are over here. We haven't quite cleaned up everything quite yet. That's okay. It's only been a couple days after all since everything's went down. That's been less. It's been one and a half. It's such a effect of leaving one day. Jeez. Sounds like there's. A busy schedule for everybody, even for villainy. Seems like, and although I have the feeling that we forced them to play their hand a little sooner than they oughta wanted to. A question, would you have also brought the smaller people, the ones that were going around throwing their shields and doing a protective service, but you have brought them along as well. Who? The bodyguards. Oh, um, yeah, they're all going in the basement. One unfortunately burnt to death, but three of them survived. We captured Man. basically fucking everybody but the one. It was we such a successful uh, mission. We ain't letting no one go uninterrogated here. We ain't about that life. I'll also say that Swimmer themselves stepped off to go cook some brownies for the group. Hmm. Good boy. And here are your victims, I mean, prisoners. Victims, Sandra Light. Your guards would be carrying over their shoulders as they continue to head down the stairs into the gloom. Who has dark vision? Who doesn't? Because otherwise you can only see about five or ten feet in front of you. I have fantastic dark vision. So you can see just fine. You can see the blood stains covering the stone. Though this place has seen better days. Nope. I'm just following the person in front of me. Leading deeper within, 
Does it seem Jeeves has even fought to light a torch for anything? They're just guiding forward. Alexandra will light a torch. And with that, the rest of the group here to see a bit more cleanly. A stone door would be pushed to the side, grinding, filling your ears as he steps on through and continue guiding the group forward. As you pass through the first hurdle, a scent of rot and decay would tickle your noses for a moment. As you would look up and just see a room stacked with corpses piled on top of each other. Hands and feet just spilling out of the entryway. Is this really the best place for all of this? Oh, it was just put there temporarily while we were planning to do some cleaning, but things have been busy. It has only been a day, as you said. Uh, and uh, numbers have been half. Yeah, we are now at a distinct manpower shortage. Thanks, Gabriel. Smacks him up back the head. There's a sleepy grumble because there is. Actually, you can't sleep on them. That would wake them up because they're not unconscious. With that smack on the head, Gabriel would wake up just like, Ugh. Oh, what the, f what the fuck am I? Uh, Alexandra will just... Not put her hand over his mouth, but like, underneath his chin and just force his jaw shut. Currently bound in manacles, they can't really stop you as she closes his jaw with a click. There's my fault. Mm. Mm, mm. A protest. I suggest you shut the fuck up, you traitorous bastard. Leading further down, you'd eventually reach the cells. Though, seeing one of the walls caved in, Jeez would continue instead of going to these cells, guiding deeper within, to the smaller cells with stone doorways. Hmm. Room in solitary. Mostly out of security sake. No, it's fair. This is Gabriel Kajar. And... Fang and Boulder. Uh, they're bastards. Sliver scum. Worth less than the dirt on my boot. Each would be guided to the different room. The stone doors, for the moment, closing before each of them, the majority being unconscious and wounded. If only Gabriel being conscious for now. Alexandra's gonna make sure Gabriel's gagged. He's a caster. You put, uh, what are you gagging with exactly? Mm, it's something not so gross but unpleasant. How about his own sock? <laughs> you. Take off his noble shoe, tickle his soul for a moment. He should take, her, just pull off his sock before stuffing it into his mouth as he protests. With now one bare foot and a shoe left, he was already in a sorry state, covered in dirt, water. His clothes burnt around the edges, ash covering him. He's hey, barely Jamie. recognizable. 
Hey Taven, do you think we should make a uh, painting of this scene? You glance behind you, Tavian isn't there. Because Tavian didn't follow. So, Impale, do you think we should make a, a uh, painting of this scene? Moo mean that aimed at you. Oh, one more time with a question. Sorry, my brain just was like tuning out. I was just staring at the screen going like, I'm waiting for my turn, and then suddenly I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> one more time with a question, just one more. So, Impale, do you think we should make a uh, painting of this scene, looking at Gabriel with a, his own socks stuffed in his mouth? I mean, if that's what kicks your fancies, why not? Honestly, though... Well... It might take too long. Mm, that's true. Eh, I'll, <laughs> let I'll let him stew for a bit. Let his sense of time break down. Very well, ma'am. Jeez would step over, closing the door. Behind him, sealing him in with only the sock cover. Just... Is there anything else you'd like to do, ma'am? Or are we leaving them in their cells for the moment? Let's let them... Let's let them, um, marinate for a little bit. Very well. Jeeves would begin to head out with that, leaving, unless you're, if you're following with them, out. If not, it's just be you and Impale along with Navi. Uh, Alexandra will look at Impale and be like, do you want to leave? Do you want to stay? Looks to them, being like, I think I could stay. But in Alexandria's head, I stay, but I can listen. If you, you know, let yourself be loud. For the time being, I gotta watch these two. Do one of them at a time. Well, I'm a little tired. My interrogations might have to wait for the morning. So if you then wanna watch I... and listen. Or... I shall watch and listen. I might even take a nap here. Who knows? And worse ideas. Some nasty fuckers that should be watched with utmost vigilance. And, uh,. Condolences on Tola. Hopefully, we find them once more. Hopefully. Then, honestly, I'll let you do the, all the work, and then if you have me to ask questions or anything, or if you want me to try my methods, I can make things happen. But for the time being, enjoy yourself, have fun. I could pop you some popcorn if you just want to have someone else watch a show. I desperately need sleep. I'm aware. 
all the puns for just to keep me awake long enough to get here. How else do you think I'm always awake and energetic? That makes a terrible amount of sense. If you live and breathe puns, then you will be a bit punny. Regardless, I'm going to go let's do the next now. Rest yourself. And uh, does Alexandra leave? Uh, Alexandra does indeed. That would leave just in pale and Navi. Navi, you are on the ground in the depths of this prison area. Mm hmm. And there's uh, impale leave. that's... Oh, you leave. Leaving yeah. just in pale. I by need themselves. to go, go uh, make sure that my children are okay. Understandable. <laughs> Where did you leave them last, if you remember? Uh, up there, they're in the, the state upstairs. Okay. In the forest somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna go find them and cuddle puddle. Pass out. Make me a quick perception check as you rush on out. Okay. <laughs> paddle, paddle. 19, it's, but passive of 22. It's easy enough to find them within the green. You're used to moving through nature. You find your feline companion no longer bound as they are. Currently clawing the bark off the apple tree, just marking their territory mm -hmm. completely as they scar the wood, sharpening their claws to a prickly point. While your other child is just leaning against another part of the tree, biting on an apple they've stolen. Just uh, go over and flop on the ground. There's a faint hiss of surprise, as they didn't notice you arriving. Though, your bigger child will have a moment of consideration to their apple than you, then offer the apple t towards you, <laughs> as you just flop there. And shake my head and just... pat the ground. With a yawn. She'll wiggle a little bit. Moving a bit closer and putting, attempting to lift your head to set it in her lap. Oh, while your feline you. companion just sniffs you for a moment while curling up beside you. Their fluff basically pushing into your cheek. Fluff and horns and snake scale and... And the warmth of their inner fire. Mm-hmm. A good baby, and then snap my fingers, and Oteg is also in the cuddle pile. Old Teg looks a little bit fatter as they flop down onto you. <laughs> Even bigger fluff ball than before. Oh, they glowing. They take a moment to look around before feeling what you're looking for, and they too settle. As all of you begin to ease down into a peaceful moment. Mm-hmm. We'll jump to Tavian real quick. Because you were going to check the armory. Then we'll dive back to Impalers. You were definitely doing something. So Tavian. Oh, she's proper sleeping. Interesting. Okay. That has potential. But first, Tavian, are you with us? I am. So you're going into the armory. What exactly are you looking for? I'm just looking at what's there. I've already seen the equipment of my compatriots, which were the sword, the shield, and I think the great sword for the barbarian. 
It was a long sword, a shield, a great sword, and something else. I don't remember what you described it was. I think it was a shield coming off by my mirror. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, there was, uh, so there were it... two shields, a long sword, and a great sword? I think so. It was a very, this has been, like, beginning session that take me a while to look, check my notes and double check. Yeah, that's fine. Um, just, he's looking at the equipment, kind of just running identify to see if they have become magic, because everything else he has built so far has. Roll me a D100. Thirteen, holy shit! In a few levels, that would have been fucking amazing for a cleric. It would. And checking them over. What did you say you were casting? Uh, identify. I know who. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I know who made them. Uh, but I also would know the last known like user of them. I'm assuming it's probably somebody in the family. Probably straight up just Alexander's dad. <laughs> I would say for one of the swords, you find the last user being Ruby, and you would get a flash of memory of them using it to cut their sandwiches for one of the long swords. Getting I... butter and what looks to be PJ and jam just all over the blade before secretly bringing it back. <laughs> His eye twitches as he immediately begins going through the uh, the maintenance on that weapon. You would also be able to tell this blade in particular has a sharper edge to it, which in particular just means it crits on a 19 instead of a 20. Terrifying. Yeah. The others are not, I'm assuming. I was basically rolling... There is faint magic to them, but it mm. seems to have dulled and not been new. So, it's slumbering, and you can't quite tell what it does at the moment. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that reminds me of, like, the fucking dragon treasure fucking items from Fizzpens. <laughs> Terrifying. Uh, he just nods. If everything I make eventually turns magic... Apparently, people need to be wielding them for that magic to stay. Interesting. Well then, I'm not going to take anything today. I look over at the shields. I stare for a moment at Ele uh, Eleanor's shield. You can see the scars that have etched into them from battles you know. And battles you were just not there to experience. He sets the sword down and picks up the shield. You pick it up, feeling it's slightly lighter, the scars having taken some of the metal and weight from it. Bumps, grooves, and very small holes that don't quite go all the way through, but have dented it. Mm -hmm. So there's a tiny peak in that allows some light to gleam through. It's old, well used, clean to a shine. He takes off his current shield sets it down next to the table the shield was on, and then straps Eleanor's shield to his back. And walks out. A touch of history is join the old veteran. What message did you carve into the shield so long ago? become what they need, the shield of Almora. And with that, carrying it off, taking a slight promise to yourself in the motion, 
the sight leaves from you and goes down to the depths. Down to wind pale as they begin to hum a haunting tune. Alone, with a new mask placed into their features. What mask do you now adorn yourself with, in pale? The mask of anger, in this case, or in what you would describe as the mask of fury. Ah, that's mask. You place I, the um... mask. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. Go ahead. You place the mask on, feeling the faint rush and the feeling of it, the warmth of the connection, and what it gives you. Memories currently flowing over different flashes, knowing the connection, knowing the potential connection with you. Just hearing in your ears a crackling of fire. As you hum your small little lullaby. What do you plan to do? I will walk down the hallway slowly, taking a look at each person's face in detail. Imagine the bodyguards are no longer masks or hiding their faces any further. Kajar is made a fool. And honestly, I want to have a pretty good look because the thing is, Gary, in the times that I had the chance to look upon some of these people was very faint. But now I have the luxury to see more. Recognize and, them and see if I piece them back from the past for honestly, my character never stops thinking about it. They try to remember as much as they can. They don't want to lose the memories. They breathe the memories. You are focused in the moment. With flames in your ears, roll me a history check at advantage as you bathe yourself in your memories. In your fire. This is going to be humiliating if I get nat ones, guys. I'm going to cry. Here we go. I got a 14, yay! It takes a moment. Flowing through your history. Flowing into the past. Digging into the deep reaches. And then a flicker of recognition flows over you as you look over to Boulder. It was back while you we were in Rofia. It was back when you were being moved along with others. Others sharing your same black hair, cracking her whip to encourage the people that were basically guiding you all along the hurry on up to get the shipment moving. Indomitable, cruel, ruthless. She never smirked, she never grinned, but she was cold. Wounding even her own subordinates to get them to hurry the pace along. Those memories of blood smelling the choking ash of the surrounding realm around you as you were pulled from the outskirts into the depths of the city, where your breath itself was difficult to pull in. Every step was draining to your health, draining to you as your mind was tested again and again with just each step. She just made it so much worse. Then my question is, and I sing the familiar tune for a reason, out of the six people in this room, who reacts to this familiar song of the North? Well, 
The only person awake is Gabriel, and the rest are unconscious. So, roll me perception. Oh, that, oh, okay, that worked. I was going to say it's not an advantage, but I got a 17 regardless. You definitely can tell that Gabriel, who is awake, is reacting to it. The others are currently asleep. But it's difficult to tell if they react or not, as your song blows into them in their slump. Well, for slump, but they were knocked unconscious. It's fine. No, I just wanted to check. It's mainly because... Honestly... Boulder's the only one that I feel like my character would remember. Fang might be just someone working with Boulder. Because out of all the characters, Boulder is the bravest. If you looked at the combat, Boulder was not afraid to take their companion with them. Boulder was not afraid to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with people, where Fang ran to try to find exits. You're not wrong. Out of the two, one is clearly more cowardly than the other. And just in case you'd like a closer view of the character... There's That's your close one. But they are. A cruel one. And then shrinking them down. And then there's also a close up for Fang. You were dwell delving into your memories as you gaze and humming your song, noticing a reaction on the one that is currently awake. What would you like to do? I mean, Gabriel is going to get interrogated pretty hard by Alexandria already. They're the one that very much made an enemy with them. But in my case, Boulder might be the one I wish to speak with, honestly, in a casual way. Ah, nothing like the Northern Hymns, as people would describe it. Depending on which side you're on, of course. The slapping so, of the tail on the ground from Impale. Do you move to try and wake them up? No. I do want to confirm something, though. Your tail whips down, cracking like a whip into the ground as you hum the familiar tunes. What would you like to confirm? I need to know if they also share the mark. Which mark in particular are you looking for? Paula's mark. Okay. Roll investigation as you check their back and their form. You roll them over carefully. Tugging their dress out of the way and gaze upon their back. You do not see your mark upon their back, but you do see many scars of a whip. Flagtation, just scarring, crisscrossing, bearing against their cold grey skin. It does confirm one suspicion in Impale's brain, very much that this person is not one of coerce, but more of one that indulges in the arts of pain. Are there any symbolages that might connect them to how they act? So like, for example, if there's a religious iconography of like Lovataria and other things like that. Give me a religion roll. You, you were moving through their belongings earlier, so we'll, we'll see if you were able to catch anything there. I would say, well, you were thinking to the stuff you moved around earlier. 
a symbol does trickle over your mind, one that you had brushed over in that moment. But it comes rushing back now. On the handles of the whip, on the cat of nine tails that each of them wore, you see the symbol of Lanishrea. The god of slavery and suffering. Remembering oh. that, it flashes over you as you gaze down on them. It was a one god that, with that memory, you also came with a disturbing memory of how so many people prayed not to them, but for forgiveness and mercy back in the lands you once called home. Slavery, subga subjugation, and tyranny rules over them in this map. Along with strength, resolve, and so many other marks and visions of them. Then very much unlike many others where if I see them from the north and they have suffered, these are truly the scums of the earth, as I would think of it. I will do the same thing to Fang to see if they have anything similar. Roll me investigation check for them. I'm rolling a lot of investigations, but it makes sense. You do the obvious check for this one. You pull them back and check their back. You don't, you see similar, the marks of whips and scars crossing over their back, over their shoulders, scarring their skin into a rough, tormented mark. But you don't see what you're looking for, you don't see the mark on your own back as you check the one place you think it may be. It's one of these hard scenarios, Gary, where it's like, my character is very much holding the fuck back on, like, some things. Not only because it's not holding back anger and all these things, it's also holding back simple questions like, where is my friend? Where is my sister in this case? It's also hiding the other things such as, like, why? But it does give me answers that the slaver... At least for the Oh, you're cutting out. Did I cut out? Yes, you did. Yeah. I was just saying, it's like, I know the slaver gods involved with these, so... I don't want to foil my own plan, because very much... Impale waited way too long to have their own impulses kind of take control. So Give instead... me a oh, wisdom roll. You've put on the mask of anger. You've delved into your memory. Can you resist the urge? We shall see. Wisdom saving throw. You are able to pull back. You're so tempted delving into these memories. Connecting... The mark on their whips to what they're tied to, seeing no marks of slavery or bondage on them as you check. Igniting further furies, but you're able to hold it in, not give in to the moment. You have a plan. Indeed. That I think knowing that situation that I have found the one that's deeply entrenched with the one I'm seeking 
She's probably my main target. And I would say this too is mainly if that if Alexandria can't get anything out of it, I will get something out of them. Fang might be another one, but I don't remember Fang. So what I will do is I will check the other bodyguards for any symbolages on them, any markings, same thing, religious iconography. And then I will investigate Kajar as well. Okay. So with the bodyguards, give me enough of investigation roll. Does this three of them I'll give you an advantage roll to check all of them? Because I seem to be wearing the same garbs and, ma and masks over them. But one thing you would notice is a symbol that's on the inside of the masks they were wearing. It looks to be a eye with thread crisscrossing over each other like it's about to be sewn shut. On the inside of the mask that each of them are currently wearing. You would also notice that unlike the pale complexion that the others have that clearly ties them to familiarity. These ones have healthy bronze and almost tan skins that seems to hint that they're from a different place entirely. They don't seem to have any religion markings, but they do definitely have that strange symbol. Good to investigate that symbol, but it means that they are hired guards. So that's literally what their job is, is to keep these two alive. Well, hired and bought could be two different things. True. True. You do not then... see any marks of slavery on them, all whip marks when you check their flesh. Well, actually, no, they were literally whipped by these two while they were there, so... They do have whip marks. They're fresh. Fair enough. Probably then I will then go to Gabriel last. Give me another investigation as you begin to check over them. He's probably not happy that I'm doing this. Because he's, he's conscious. So you begin to move over him, rummaging into his pockets as he squirms, and attempts to push you away with his feet. How far are you going with this investigation? Very. Are you checking orifices, or just checking under clothes? I will check where I think is necessary. And if I have to go deeper, and I mean deeper in him, I will. Okay, so he is extremely uncomfortable and attempting to push you back, growling with curses, but you would discover a few things. For one, there doesn't seem to be a single scar upon his person. Nor any markings that would show some just normal marks and roughness that would come with age is seeming to be lacking on them. And as you're checking, with the timing having passed, a shimmer flows over his form before it fades off. And as it does, as his disguised self flows away, you can see changes begin to settle over him as his veins begin to turn blackish in colouring, his lips become an unhealthy pale, and his eyes become bloodshot, almost popping out. But you'll also see a mark on his tongue as you force his jaw open to check it while he's cursing you. A mark that mirrors the same mark that were on the mask you just found. Hmm. Stuffs the thing back into his mouth and just simply makes a comment to him being like, Someone doesn't want you talking, do they? 
I'm not going to ask you questions. I'm not going to interrogate you. I am not going to treat you wrong. But, and I hate to say this, if you have information, any info, any information connected to the North, the very little I did to you is a kindness. What I do after, hopefully, you simply just speak it out. But I have a simple thing you could do for me right now. You just answer questions. And if you lose your tongue because you do, that's your own fate. You look desperate as you look ghoulish in nature. Someone that tries to thrive for survival. Someone that has their ego constantly above them. So, Kajar. I will figure out what these are. If you are freely able to speak about it, tell it to Alexandria. I will find it my own way. And if you do not tell the truth, or even attempt to out of the risk of your own life, your life is forfeit regardless. Damn or be damned. You just might as well make good decisions in the end. But I will not do it out of hatred. But I hope you know that. Currently gacked and unable to speak, all they can do is narrow their now bloodshot eyes as it's their true appearance was revealed towards you. So, if you want to be my friend, stay alive longer and do your best to be a good man. I will always give mercy to those, but to the people like them, pointing to in one of the cells. They have long gone lost their mercy. Earn yours. Although, I will investigate it further. From what I see, nothing hides from me. I will pull off the gag and check his mouth once more. Okay, he would attempt to bite, but you've got a firm hold of his jaw and he can't really pull away. So, get another investigation roll from her. With advantage, because you've noticed something. You pull the tongue out and shift enough so what little lighting you have in this... Well, you don't need lighting. You have insane dark vision, never mind. What lighting you produce yourself allows you to peer within. You see, at the back of their mouth, a strange appearance of a molar that's got a point with got a golden gleam to it, which would make you think it's just a decorative piece if it wasn't for the fact that the flesh underneath it, where it's connected to the gum, has changed colour. Going from the healthy pink to something similar to a metallic sheen. Interesting. Does it look like it could be removed? Of no, enough false. Hmm. 
Does it look like it's easily able to be broken? It's a tooth. So, as breakable I... as a tooth can be. I'm only asking it because I don't want him to accidentally like, have a cyanide cap in his mouth that I discover. But basically, it's oddly shaped gold. It looks like it's in their mouth, but it looks like it's not healthy in their mouth. That seems to be the case. What would you like to do? Stuff his throat back up with the gag. And then simply leave him to where he is and simply go, I'll relay some information to the lovely Alexandria. I will be there watching. Things go well, I vouch. Things that don't go well, I prey upon you. And then I leave him alone, making sure that he can't get the gag out. His cheeks are filled with his old sir. And you begin to head out. Is there anything else you do here before you return to the others? With the unconscious bodyguards, I'm probably going to look if they have something similar in their mouths. Because now that the masks have the tongue on um, the eye symbol, I will look in the mouths of the bodyguards as well and see if they have something similar. If they don't, it's like, alright, cool. And I just head off. Now that you know what to look for, I can safely say you don't see that particular tooth in any of their mouths as you check them over. Nor do you see the symbol on their tongue, either. Just seems to be sewn into the cloth. Then, as I leave, if Jeeves is still there... You would find would Jeeves waiting at the top for you to help guide you out. Switch his mask to the happy mask. Ah. Jeeves, I have something for you to investigate. And maybe you might have to get a dentist. And what would that be? First, hands them the mask from the bodyguards. I have no clue what this is. So if you could find someone that can identify it, that might be very helpful for us because, well, not only are the masks covered, but Kajar has something of this on his tongue. Worry that if he speaks, he loses it. I also recommend checking his shiny tooth. Pop it out if you can. Might be special. Maybe Alexandria can do it. I'm sure Miss Alexandria would enjoy doing such a thing. However, I believe she has gone to take a rest. Oh, I'm very aware, but you'll have to keep an eye on them. Honestly, we might have to have someone keep an eye on all of them. They seem to have possibly a backup plan if things don't go well for them. Noted. I will keep my routine here then. For now. Please let the lady know. That is the plan. Then... He would I snap you... his fingers, and you hear the, gr the grinding of stone above as the light peeks in. Travel safe, and have a nice rest, if that's what you plan to do. I will attempt. Then, oh, I actually was going to tell you something, Jeeves. Yes? Part of a plan of mine. If you see another me... And I know that you'll know it's not me, if you have a talent. Pretend they are me. It might lead us to a better source of information. Noted. Play the act. I can't promise I'll be good at act, but I will do my part. 
Tally ho! Starts striding out of the stairs. Noted. I know Navi's going to take a nap. Tavian, after you grab the shield, where did you go? Um, <clears throat> as I am trying to get ready for what seems to be getting more and more difficult and war uh, wartime, I am going to leave a, uh, I guess, I guess I go speak with Alexandra's mother real quick before I head out, but I need to, I've got funds that I just haven't been spending that I'm going to go spend. And I have enough to get up to a rare item. So I'm going to look for something very specific, and I'm going to the uh, going to the people that we know can get it, if they don't already have it, and see if they can get it. Which would be the uh, the flower shop. Okay, what exactly <clears throat> is it you're seeking? Would you like to keep that a secret? Okay, so let's have this conversation with the mother first. Mm -hmm. She would be likely lounging in the living room as you go to speak to them and they'll glance over to you. Yes, what is it? I'm taking back Eleanor's shield, if that's fine. Well, I can't tell if my husband will be fine with it, but I don't have an issue with it. Mm -hmm. it's... I can see that it's still warped from some flames. Interesting. Yeah, that fight was a bitch and a half. <sighs> but it gives credit to, I guess, how well I made it in the time. Certainly. Might want to hammer out some of those dents. I'll keep them for memory's sake. You do you. I don't know how I'm going to film them. But, um... I just wanted to let somebody know where I was going in case anything happened. I'm going down to the flower shop. I'm taking this exact path, and then he describes the path he's taking. We've been getting jumped... But the uh, I don't want the others following me because they're all in rough shape. Note it. I will mark down that path and let them know if anything untoward happens. Mm -hmm. Not that it's much much consolation, but I left my other shield in place of this one. He just kind of smiles. trying to keep Alexandra from overworking herself because she's going to do that. I don't know how, but try to keep everybody here as best you can. Though, I suppose Impale will be nearly impossible to do that with, but best of luck. Also, you need to get it to where Ruby cannot get in the armory as easily because she decided to use the cleric's sword to cut peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh, I remember that. That was interesting to watch. Mm. A little disrespectful, but kind of hilarious. So, just figured I'd mention it because if she can get in, that means anybody that's as stealthy as her can get in. And well, as I just know, as I just said, I knew about it. 
Ah. <laughs> I watched. It was hilarious. Well, that's fair. All right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. Just picturing the face of that particular cleric. If they had discovered their sword being used like that, just brings a smile to my face. Can I act a little sus to him, huh? Seems fine to me. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, that would be kind of funny. Um, it would, but do travel safe. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you out of sight. Yeah. Well, I'll be in public, so. If... Yeah. Does she? She's just clearly getting bored. Yeah. But she'll fucking outright say it one of these days, but Tavian, Tavian has an inside of zero, so. Rolled a seven. He ain't fucking seeing shit. Just, alright, well. Even the lines you just said about the part was just like, I don't want anything bad to happen to you out of sight. Yeah, again, rolled a seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not inside again a second time. <laughs> just, right. Well, I'm off. Try not to let too many people die. And he just heads out. Uh, we don't have to focus on the shopping part of this, because um, there's only two of these that could pop up, and one of these is, even though they're equal rarity, one of them is rarer than the other. Uh, for the item you're looking for? Mm-hmm. Well, there's quite a few of them. Yeah, I know, but there's only two of equal Two of equal cost. Or not yeah, cost, they... but equal rarity. Well we'll see that when it happens. Alright. But he'll uh, he'll head out. And go talk to the uh, elderly gentleman at the flower shop. Before we jump to that, is there anything anyone else is doing? Oh, I'd rather keep that secret, so let's not jump to that. <laughs> and just nah, type it to I me. will go rest. Yeah. Smart. Doing the thing I should be doing. Okay, so it's... Navi's also asleep. Alexandra, anything you did after you left? Did you also just go to sleep? Uh... Yeah, no, she, she just, she's done with the day. I will say, as you're heading to bed, you will be ambushed by a swimmer with special brownies. What's in them? Uh, something to help you relax. Is it lavender? Might be. It's it's something that relaxed me last time I tried it. Is it that funny thing the kobold gave us last time? Uh, it might have been. Did the kobold give it to you? Yeah, they did. Eh, fuck it. Yeah, she'll have it. And you would find yourself getting into a relaxing high as both of you get the munchies while eating these brownies. We'll get them. If you have fattage, they would begin to ease and you would begin to hallucinate eventually. Different colours, shapes, and maybe just a platinum dragon dancing above the bed as you lean back into it for some reason. This is the weirdest fucking trip. You can see Swimmer next to you attempted to paw at the air and failing as their arm just keeps flopping back down.
until eventually he just passes out from brownie high relaxation. Fair enough. <coughs> and with that, we'll jump over to the flower shop. Do do. Let me see if I can get the right map. Oh, that's the barracks. That's do. There we are. So in pale, taking your trip down, make me a one, a D one hundred row. Davian. Rolls yep. bomb. Sorry. I did not hear you say anything to me for a second. I think I think my headset's acting up. Could you give me a D one hundred roll as you're heading down to the flower shop? Oh boy. Come on. Damn it. You don't know it's saying anything out of order and you don't see anything that's lurking or be a risk at you. But you do see quite a few seagulls. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Tavian don't care. Tavian's not Samuel. And that's just give me a D20 real, real quick as you glance the seagulls and don't care and look forward. Mm -hmm. 14. You're quick enough on your step to avoid the droppings that almost landed on you. Mm -hmm. I guess I walk in here looking different than the last time I did walk in here. You do. And they would glance up squinting at you before treating you like a normal customer. Oh, welcome. What would you like? We have some tulip. Right. Maybe mm -hmm. some lily of the valley. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, you know, I kind of like roses, but, you know, it's the names. It, look, I'm Tavian. I look different. I told you that I would. This is what I look like at the moment. We certainly have the right voice, though physically or. Oh my god, you have a room okay? in the back and I met your boss. Very well. I also, Come on in. Purchase quite stop a bit of land. In the, stop standing in the entryway and talking, <laughs> please. Yeah, he just. He walks in and closes the door before he says all the fucking important shit. Yeah. Just, uh-huh. <laughs> well, at least that way you know I'm me. Right then. Yes. I gotta follow me, please. Yeah. He does the following. This time he just leads you through the secret door into the warehouse area before mm -hmm. he turns to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is it you need exactly? I uh, hand him a piece of paper with the, uh, the item I'm looking for. Or the type of item. He removes his ring to get a bit more comfortable and just squints at it for a moment, bringing out a monocle as he brings the paper up close to his face. Okay, I don't know what this is exactly, but what do you want it to do? A bit more detail. All right then. Um, he will describe the effects of the item. I'm keeping the secret from everybody, Gary. <laughs> I know, I know. That's so, why, but give it in character. What are we doing? Yeah, I know. <clears throat> okay, I know where to get something of that, but it is going to be pricey, more than the item is worth. <sighs> Tricky to get a hold of. Right. Uh, let's if I remember correctly. I believe the item you're looking for comes in the shape of a pair of pants. Oh, it's fine. I'll be putting, I'll be putting um, armor over it, so it'll be fine. It'll be the only uh, attunement item I have, so useful. At least I know they'll fit correctly.
All right. In that case. Oh, he'll just hand over all of his gold. And how much? I sent it to just... you. And then I'm going to have to pay for a little bit of this out of some other stuff. Um, I do have something else in place of compensation, if you'd like. Um, are you familiar with an obsidian colored material typically used for cannonballs that starts to glow when in contact with air that explodes highly, highly explosively to the force of, say, greater than a fireball? Yep. Looking for something like that? Offering to sell something like that in exchange for some of the pricing. What you're giving me here is a little, it's a bit low for what you're asking. Which is why I'm offering to trade a few other things. I... <sighs> I have that, I have healing potions, I have two doses of lavender, I know that shit's expensive. Potion of fire it's... resistance if need be, I've got an extra breastplate, though I don't know if you'll want it, once I take it off it'll have a horse on it. Are you gonna sell, okay. Eyebrow wiggle. You you specifically in character told me to get rid of it at some point. <laughs> Your character wanted that shit gone. <laughs> alright, alright here. Yeah. So the breastplate for your plate mill you're currently wearing, you're offering something explosive. I already have I've got a breastplate. I've got splint armor. I'm not offering the splint mail. <laughs> I have to keep that. Uh, the cannonballs. I have highly explosive cannonballs. I've got four of them. I'm willing to trade up to three. Those three and the fire potion. Along with that gold, and we can make sure you get what you need. Just All don't right. ask questions on how we got it. Alright, about how long do you think it'll take? And sooner the better. I So the fire potion's just gone. I'll have to get another one of those at some point. He'll tilt his head and fart for a moment. Considering how rare the particular effect you'll have, it could be risky, but how soon do you get? As soon as possible, but as effective as possible, so... Use your best judgment. Um... It would be good within the next few days, because if my feeling is correct, shit's about to go down bad. I'm sure that you've already heard they tried to burn down the docks, all the warehouses. And that was just a distraction to try to slow us down, meaning that they're getting desperate. And if they're getting desperate, that means that we're doing what we need to be doing. But what happens to a cornered animal when there's five or six, I don't know, hunters around it? They typically fight back. Alright, I'll do what I can to get it in the next couple of days. Just don't ask questions, and if there's a commotion, just pretend it doesn't exist. Mm. That's fair, and if something comes up, I will say that I have no idea what they're talking about plus I won't be able to see it underneath my armor anyways and no but there's a way they might seek out the item mm. you'll have to talk your way out of it in that case if they seek out the item in that way that'll be problematic <sighs> I can't say they will it's just there's always a chance with these things All right. Well, but we'll make sure you get it Right. Now, if you can do me one solid favor in making sure where you get it from is from somebody who's an asshole. 
I can agree with that. <laughs> then we're solid. Alrighty then. No more questions. No more stipulations. There's all of your, uh, all of your wealth, I guess. I got a couple copper pieces left in my name, and that's about it. <clears throat> Good luck to you then. Right. Well, if you know Sell anybody looking. Breathplate of the horse description. If you need. <laughs> no, that'll be fine. Honestly, if you know any uh, people who need equipment, send them my way. I do actually have a shop with quite a bit of materials made, including armor, weapons, daggers. Mostly they just keep buying the spears and harpoons, but I think that's mostly because they're going into the depths. Well, as I've already told you, we're holding back a little bit, but if we hear anything of anyone needing such thing, I'll pass on a word or two mm -hmm. when they're coming to buy the flowers. Of course. Have a good day. Us fellow businessmen need to keep ourselves together, after all. We're a union. <laughs> and have a good day. He just nods. He slips the ring back on. Guides me out, i And his tone changes. Let's on, head on out and to the loo. As he guides you out and closes the door. Uh, before he does... We managed to capture some people. We're oh, congratulations! We're looking into what has happened with these missing people. Ah, pl please keep me informed. My little assistant has been gone for a while. They were very good at tending to the flowers. Of course. And then he'll head out. His pocket significantly lighter. <laughs> and he goes right back to the manor. Uh... Because that's where they're staying tonight. Because they need to stick together. And you would head back to the manor. Anything else anyone would like to do before the next day rolls around? Did did you make a noise there, Navi? Because you're very quiet. No, it wasn't me. It's like a no from someone. I, I hummed. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Okay, Impale is currently in Slumberland. And uh, sounds like everyone is basically resting. That's where I'm going as soon as I get back. Uh, I assume you went to bed. Yep. Straight to sleep. And so, while people are sleeping, we are going to go to someone that hasn't had a proper sleep in a while. We're gonna lean over to Navi. It's fine. Hell We're yeah. fine. You don't need to do anything. <laughs> Drifting into slumber, into a moment of rest. Mm -hmm. More drained than you've been in quite a long while. Yeah, Body aching. Like the faint drip of your amb amberless colored liquids having flown before hardening. You lay down with your family. Your king the wild surrounding you, and drift. Drift into slumber. Drifting into the past. Drifting into the wild. Your memory drifts flowing. And in your dream, you can feel that twitch of your nature. Of your form being taller, slightly different, and you're strolling, you're walking, just feeling the rush of the world around you as you're slowly moving along. Mm -hmm. The wind coming warm, then cold, as each step seems to cause the time. The seasons around us slowly flow. 
you see the trees bright and full of life slowly turn darker in color, the leaves crinkling before falling down in the breeze, brushing onto you, covering you for a moment before you brush them off. Or sometimes just leave them lingering there as you carry on. The rains fall from cold to warm. Snow covers your form. You don't quite, you're not quite sure where you're going, but you know you're going somewhere. You have a destination that's keeping you focused. Mm hmm. Okay. You're not, you're not sleeping, you're pushing through. Just keeping walking as time seems to go, moving through the wild, moving through the landscape. You pass through a riverside that's darkened in colour, the waters themselves seeming to lost, lose their lustre as the sky itself begin to darken in a shade. Mm -hmm. And as they darken, the trees around also seem to lose their lustre, cracking through the bark, the nectar underneath turning pale white ghastly, the feeling of comfort and familiarity losing its lustre as the leaves fall away and find yourself gazing up in a forest familiar yet different to a cloud covering the sky, blocking out the life the warmth that the trees need, the nature needs. And then you see something towering above this civilization resting on the water side. Mm -hmm. Long necks turning towards you. For a brief moment you think gigantic faces smiling down at you. Then, you're no longer away. No longer asleep. You are welcome. Mm, Feeling brother. your heart racing and something you're not used to feeling. I, my heart deep in your beating. car. Yeah, my heart doesn't beat. What do, you, what, do you, what do you mean? If it is beating, which isn't right, as your hand oh. rests on your chest and some primal fear is settled into your form. Great. I hate that. Mm. It's fine. However, while you wake up, check just telling yourself you're fine and trying to ignore what happens. Everyone else wakes up fully rested, no nightmares, no moment of pain or sorrow, just perfectly comfortable rest, feeling happy and warm with coffees and tea set out for them. And so, it is morning time, Alexandra, Tavian, I don't think Impale is back, but Impale if you're here. What would everyone like to do in this morning? Well, I know what I'm going to do. Damn. You're still fish boy. I feel uh, like it always rolls the same when you're on the first time you roll it. That's it hasn't done that every time. It's just unlucky roll of the dice. Yeah, well, it's a D four, so there's a lot of chances. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll stick with it. I ain't got no reason not to. Whew. Okay, then I gotta roll through my other bullshit. 
Let's see what spells I have today. Um, I'm gonna go up to Alexandra and just be like, "We're gonna need a while to interrogate the prisoners, correct?" Huh? What? Who? Why? How are you in my room, Cap? Uh. You left the door unlocked. Um. Do you need him awake? To poke. poke. You, you, you know what he's like when he's asleep. Poking is not enough. At most, he just kicks his legs like, like a puppet. Okay. Hold on, I got this. I got this. If it doesn't work, I can uh, create quite a bit of water. Uh, Alexandra pushes them out of the bed. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, gonna make a if he's, check for him. If he stays asleep after that, this is gonna be the funniest wake up in a minute. Oh yeah, he's still fast asleep. He lands with a heavy thump on the ground, face in the ground. There's a moment of silence if all just... <sighs> yeah, just, I look at Alexandra. Permission to use water. Permission denied. Use it in your own damn room. Alright, well... Uh... I need a, a few days before we do anything else major. Why is that? I'm getting something collected. Uh... An item that I need. Fair enough. Um... After that... I feel as though we're going to... Things are gonna escalate soon. Hmm. What gave you that idea? He just blinks. You know, the sarcasm is, uh, appreciated. It reminds me of the good old days. Yeah. Because of this bullshit we just went through, and the fact that we've caught basically every major player that they have had, destroyed one of the best well-laid traps that I've ever seen designed... Uh, didn't really show our hand in the process, meaning that we went through and humiliated them. Probably one of the best ways that you could. And then you decided to take a literal fucking arm off of the individual, which is, dare I say, the funniest shit I've seen in a minute putting us ahead in the race again, and they're getting desperate. We need one ingredient left, they need three. Two, assuming that she would just rip off another part of her arm. They have a... They still have the crystal and mm -hmm. the other artifact. We're tied, we're one to one. Caster, they need the caster. They probably already have one. You think? Well, in that case, I wouldn't put it past them. We have to assume that they have someone on their side. Hmm. That, or they're definitely coercing someone. Hmm. In that case, yeah, tied. But all the more reason to watch out for their trickery. You're smart. You know what's going on. You've been through this shit before. I'm just here airing out what appears to be the elephant in the room. No, it's good to do so. I know you intend on interrogating the individuals down there today. Um, I don't really need to be present for that, but... I would like to be there anyways, just in case somebody tries to break them out. I would definitely appreciate your presence. As long as that's okay, I'll be coming with. It's more than fine. Alright. It's honestly Sorry. preferred. Sorry for waking you up in this manner. No, no, it's fine. I was just gonna jump his bones. Not literally. Right. 
It's too early in the morning. I can't think of things. I was just gonna, like... No, you're good. Poke him. No, okay. no, no. I understand exactly what you mean. I mean, you could still... Uh, Alexander just rolls off the bed and lands on Swimmer. There you go. And he just walks out and locks the door behind him as he's leaving. <laughs> that suplexes your elbow goes into <laughs> it. Stomach effectively wakes him up. Yep. As you've turned this into a wrestling match as he instinctively half awake begins to wrestle you. Good. Yeah, I'm glad I locked that door on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> Gross, but not really. Someone else do something. Jeez. Yeah, Navi poke. I guess I'll go find Navi. <laughs> Fuck it. If I if I'm the if I'm the driving factor of shit getting done, let's get this shit done. I'll do it. I don't care. All right. So I'll go find Navi, which I know where she is. Her and her pack are currently in the forest. If I had to say where I was currently at, I'd probably be like in the fountain, but I'm not gonna. So, boo. It wouldn't be too difficult to find than they are under the apple tree. Mm -hmm. That is our typical spot, yes. Yeah, I uh, just used the... I announced my presence first. Hey, Navi. Which, her passive bullshit is passive as hell. That's what gives me a, a curious thought. Would you like there to be a chance for them to see you waking up in that state, <laughs> Navi? Sure, you can wake me up. Just give me a D100 roll, see if you would have arrived when they woke up with that start. What was what was it you asked me to roll? D100. I'm rolling a lot of these today. Yeet. 57. Fortunately, you were just a bit too late. That's fine by me. Just straight myself out. Yes. Um... We're probably going to be investigating the uh, prisoners today, and I just wanted to make sure that everybody here was okay. Um, no, uh, yes, I am, I am fine. Thank you. I would like to continue my lessons in the, uh, well, you know. Mental. Yeah. We've been doing it for a while now. I think I'm getting closer and closer every day. Your pronunciation still need to work, but... I'm okay with accents. <laughs> it's gonna get bad. I know. I wanna tune up... Le uh, I wanna... Uh, blah, 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 blah. English is hard. Blah, 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 blah. Where's our... Where's our NPC list? Then? There they are. Yeah. Lynn? Yeah, just Lynn. Just I want to tune up her armor as best I can. She's in. She's able to wear medium armor now, right? Now that we've been teaching her how to put on the uh, what was it? Chainmail, I think. Or was it? What did I give her? Hey DM, that's, that's your character, what she got on. I wish I could tell you. That's why, that's why I said GM. I can't see her shit. Yeah, I'm checking, I'm checking. I can't even, I actually just straight up can't, uh... Oh. Oh shit. I believe you got a chainmail. At least that's what I've got a note of, unless it's something different, and I've got that wrong. Now, if you got it written down as chainmail, that's most definitely what I gave her. But if she's wearing chainmail, that means that we taught her how to wear 
We taught her how to wear fucking heavy armor. She's got an AC of 16. Shit. No, she's fine. She doesn't need anything better. Uh, we could we could put her in splint, which is what I'm wearing. Uh, we could run her through drills to teach her how to use a shield. That would probably be a good idea. Uh, right. Well, maintenance on the armor. Run her down on how to use a shield. We need to... We need to protect our own because it's getting bad, bad. Yeah. They feel cornered. Trust me. Trust me, I know. You're acting calm today. Mm, yes. good on that case run me through the lessons and I've got to see about possibly selling some shit that are going through the right. items we put in the uh, the that were in the iron safe because we never distributed that shit uh, she runs you through lessons basically holding an entire conversation in the language and correcting you when you fuck up yeah uh, GM as long as I've been doing this which is since the island arc? How close am I? <laughs> <laughs> the island arc. When we were I think crashed on the island before back before it. him and Tola yeah. were a thing. I honestly back, back game before that's been we... like three weeks. Yeah, no, like it really hasn't been long. Really? It's only been yeah. three weeks? <laughs> Bro, it, what the fuck? What? I know. We've taken down times multiple times between then. It's only those down we times we with don't... a length of only like a day uh, or two. Yeah, you took, really? you took a couple of days, you never took a long period of break Holy time. Fuck. Yeah, why do you think Alexandra's kind of fucking ragged? Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> holy fucking shit. It it feels so much longer than that. Well, yeah, it's that's been a very in, eventful couple weeks. And also in <laughs> in real life, it's been much longer because it's been months. It's been well beyond months. <laughs> it's just mm -hmm. so active that there's been no long periods of break. Well, it's because things keep escalating, Gary. <laughs> Uh, no, you're fine. That's fucking hilarious. Alright, yeah, just, eh, even with three weeks, it's getting closer. That's... Thanks, Gary. Thanks. I needed that. Sorry. What? Like, that's not a Don't worry about it. considerable amount of time, but also... Oh. You don't... Gary, you you do not get... I saw a dream. Yeah. You do not get a, uh, full... You don't get fluency in a language in three weeks. You might be able to hold a basic conversation, but... Yeah. I remember. I remember Spanish class. I, I probably got at least another, another three weeks of this shit. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should you, take you, some actual fucking downtime. <laughs> you 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 could at least could get the a few sentences at this point. Yeah, learning all the important words. Like you you know how to say, "Can I go to the bathroom?" Or "Where can I get some toothpaste?" Effectively. <laughs> Uh, the essentials, basically. <laughs> Como estas? <laughs> Etu es... Uh, Etu es mi biblioteca. <laughs> no, Etu is... No, wait. Fuck. I think I'm mixing... I think I'm mis mixing fucking Latin and Spanish. But... We're going... I think we're going to take a... 15 minute break to mm -hmm. see if Impale can come back before we move on to the next step. Yeah, uh, they did say to ping them if they took too long, but I'm not going to determine what taking too long is, so... Yeah, that's why I'm giving them 15 minutes and then I'm going to ping. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go look and see if I can get something to stack on. I've yeah. eaten two I'm chicken get sandwiches myself... today and that's it. <laughs> uh, I'm personally gonna get myself a drink of water because I need it. Mm -hmm. not, not a bad idea. And this will also give a moment for our lovely tiger to snack. 
Yes, Tiger, go get snack. Go get I food. I have out. stuffed my guy. I actually ate actual dinner today. Oh yeah, right. Oh, oh right. So good. Oh, I had a. There was a. It was a whole ass roast and fucking pan fried potatoes. And then we had ice cream afterward. I was there was more food and than I have been eaten in the past in a time span of twenty four hours in the past like. I'm the fact jealous. That you have to think this long. Oh, did it just cut out? Hello? No. I think Hi. she just stopped. Oh. No. Nope. Anyway. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm jealous of your ice cream. I had the exact same dish instead of straight potatoes, it was mashed potatoes. No, oh, it was like cut up pan fried potatoes. Oh, oh those are so uh, much better. Wait, flats or squares? Flats. Good. What, like, oh. yeah. Chips. Like, literal chips. They're uh, uh, pan fried. Not quite chips, but like, is like, the... You take a potato and you just slice it into, uh, it's into not the flat. Thin, not thin slices, but yeah, like... But, yeah, chunks, but yeah, flats. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you yes. cook those for too long yeah. with salt on them, they still turn into chips. But yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Oh, God, that makes me hungry. <laughs> Get fucked. Well, I mean, if we got 15 minutes, the air fryer takes 15 minutes to cook chicken, so... Ah! Nice. Nice. Chicken binge. Oh, there's a ping. What's the ping of it? Oh, impale! We, I literally just called for a 15 minute break so I think it will give you time to get back. <laughs> You're good. This is a moment for people to get snacks, get drinks, get themselves ready, then we'll jump right back in because people have woken up, people had nightmares. It's fine. We don't need to talk about it. Yep. Some fun things happened, and some very not fun things. People got twamud. Maybe. <laughs> but I think the next move will be to go into the basement, and we need you here for that. Fair enough. But I'm guessing it was Alexandria, Tavian. I don't know if Navi really worries about their nightmares, but if they did, that'd be terrifying. I'm not going to say anything. I could... Don't worry about it. Tiger already confirmed it for me. Okay. Everything's fine. What I will do then is that I will catch up with reading things. I am back. Hi, back. Okay, I'm back with the refreshment I needed. Now I just to wait for everybody else. We're good to go.
Is everybody back? Yes. Okay, yes. Rat. Is a Navi here? Yeah. Tavian. We're missing the ta the T man. Yeah, he's making chicken. Cause he, you made him think he had time to make chicken. I thought we did. <laughs> and then the moment well. I called for break, it's a huge. It's it's like every time it's called in any D and D game, breaks called on the person anyone's waiting for immediately shows up. Happens every time. <laughs> yeah. But I will ask you, Impale, is there anything you would have liked to do during the night? Or the morning, while people are waking up? Impale, Moomy. Hola. I'm here. I asked if there was anything you would have liked to do during the last bit of the night or the morning. Well, the problem is I couldn't go. I can't really leave my costume for I'm always under surveillance. So probably I'm taking a nap in a fetal position and then I wake up and spring onto my feet and start strolling out happily in a bounce. Impale never is tired. So you curl up into a fetal position somewhere in the manor, maybe on the roof, maybe in a quiet corner, just somewhere out of sight. Going into a slumber, and as you do, with all those memories flickering through your mind this moment, you find yourself just back in the flames. They're flickering around you. You're breathing in the ash as it's choking your lung. You're used to this. You've fallen into this moment so many times before. The creaking of wood the muffled sounds of panic. They float around you, flickering over the moments. You're smaller. Your mind rushing, flickering over everything that you've just delved into. What do you do in your dream? Curled up in the fetal position as the flames surround. I think it very much. I wouldn't say I'd just be stewing in rage in this case. It's very much just going through the motions of being like, I found the person I saw last before I was gone, taken to a better place. And many little questions filling through the mind. However, the one prominent question that might get muddled a little bit, and I'll explain why, is the fact that I wonder, and I grow curious as I dream of this thing, if they know about the little of the girl named Ani. Now, for you, Gary, you might not remember this right off the bat, but Ani is I do. the one. Oh, there I, you go. I do remember. She was the one that did something and helped you. I'm not, I also still have their token ready and prepared for certain moments. Beautiful. Leave. She's also down in your special NPC area. Let me double check. Tola. Yep. She's right here, as a friend. So you're thinking of her, 
and as you do, within the flames her visage flickers over. What you can remember in this age, as they attempt to shield you from the crack of the whip. Being slightly bigger than you, they do what they can. Even if they're not of the same line as you, as you're starting to recall. Others had brought her in, it wasn't the same individual. She seems they had a different purpose for her. You can't quite recall everything what was said, just faint mummers. Sounds... it didn't sound right. You didn't want to hear it back then, you curled up and just tried to shut yourself off from it all. Flickers of those memories pass through the flame. Right to the point when that moment, that brief moment of sanctuary, freedom floating down the blackened river, crashing into a ship with colors, threads, and laughter coming from above, then falling, falling down the waterfall. Finding yourself outside of the walls. Free. Unbound. Able to move, able to run. Running over the mud covered shores as you puke out the water. Running to freedom. Running until your feet turned red. Blisters and blooder. Running until you couldn't anymore. And then they knew compound. That new moment. The past is an interesting thing. Never quite leave you. It lingers. I believe that. Ah. It is one of the rare moments of feeling happiness. Which is why I mentioned the muddle part. I say this is mainly because Tola had many, like, good moments. They think about the circus. They think about, like, other things. But, like, freedom is a big thing for them. And I know recently there was an expression of freedom amongst the group, I would say. So why I'd say it muddles is because, as I said, my character very much obsessed, literally lives and breathes and does their best to never forget. But it does not mean that things cannot just slide in that could disrupt the flow a bit. I say this mainly because this group has given Tola many bright moments. The bright moments of the past, and each of those bright moments are darkened with a blacker flame of the darker times that are tied all together to them. And in these moments, as you dwell on the past, the flames flicker with some of the present. Lighter moments in them, but also flickerings of the dark flame, of the pain your new companions faced, of the worries lingering in the dark, of the dangers. Moments when people have almost lost their lives. Both the good and the bad lingers in the present and the past. And as the flames build up, combining all of that together, you awaken. Awake once more, you can hear the sound of Tavian talking to Navi outside. As you stretch to your feet and put your best smile on. As you be no longer the cold up Tola, but once again impale. 
top of the morning to y'all. I don't know why I say it like that, but good morning, as I would say to you all. She's shouting that from a window. <laughs> yep. Correct. She she leans out. Well, I'm not sure if she leans out or she presses her mask against the window. It's one of the two while shouting out at you. Just. Yeah. Um. Hey, Impale. Just getting some practice in with uh, uh, with Navi and well, <laughs> just points over at Lynn <laughs> and trying to get her to figure out how to hold a shield. Oh, yeah. It's quickly runs out of the building as quickly as possible to reach over to the group is. I can assist to that. If it takes me two minutes, I will say that after two minutes. If it takes me ten seconds, I will say I can assist with that. Depends would, how fast I have to run. Knowing your character and how far away the door is to where we're at, probably not far. <laughs> like, literally, uh, literally. See, literally a smoke trail left behind of an impression of Impale as they reach the group. Okay, see, now that seems like a misuse of your powers, but it's also really well done. I can't even be mad. I'm glad that you enjoy this. But regardless, exercising and learning how to do combat is a great way of, well, living longer. Yeah. And with shit likely to hit the fan soon, it's probably best for everybody to learn how to at least pick up a shield. Uh, let's see here. Are they, as I would like to describe, able to carry armor casually upon themselves, though? We've or one can hold a shield. Well, we've trained them in heavy armor, but now we're trying for the shield. She had no training before we taught her how to wear the heavy. Ah, good. Then, continue with your lesson, although I do have one recommendation. Mm. Uh, how is Lynn holding the shield? Uh, like someone would hold a bot. They have no idea what they're doing. Their yeah. fighting has been wildly flinging her arms about and going wolf mode. Mm -hmm. Mostly instinct. So wielding something heavy and lingering on their arm is not something they're used to. Mm -hmm. Walks Ta over to Lynn. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Tavian's definitely taking notes. Um, well, but basically you'll see Impale walk to Lynn. Alright. Now. You don't like that on your arm, do you? Um, I, I, I can't say I do. It's a bit, bit cumbersome. Well, even if it's cumbersome, it's very useful. Best way I can explain it is, well... Imagine that is the thing that you use to, I would say, catch things. You know, imagine like you had a bucket and someone threw water at you and you had to catch it. That catches blows. For example, Impale pokes them in the nose. Your challenge, don't let me poke you. Use your shield. If you don't, each poke can be very deadly. There'll be a small wrinkle of the nose and a small sneeze before they raise up their shield and attempt to prevent your pokes. I will attempt to poke the person a bit to help them learn. Make your attack rolls. <sighs> One moment. Okay, that would be a miss. Oh, don't worry, I got an extra attack. And then you just poke her directly on the nose again as she pulls back. <laughs> and you know what? Roll boot Alexandra. <laughs> Make that roll. 
You are not used to rolling boots. Um, no, they used to be used to it. They just stopped doing it for a while. They got a little rusty. Yeah, but it falls out and... Actually, just give me a dexterity save, Tavian. Uh, <laughs> neither of those hit my AC. Can I just bat it away with the... Bat it away with you, the... You bucket? don't know it's coming. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know, that's why it would be rolled at an advantage. <laughs> that's why I say it's dexterity, it's falling uh, from above you. That's fine, let's see. Clunk, as the boot, small, little child boot just lands on your head. Doesn't deal any damage, mm -hmm. but you now have a boot on your head and in your hair. Uh, I have a reaction to stop the no damage. <laughs> Which, even if I get hit, it's interception. I just bat it away with the shield. <laughs> Middle thing. Shield, you don't rise. have drawn in the moment. And then the weapon, which I do have drawn at the moment. Because it's a fucking spear. This is a lesson on how to use a shield. Okay, and then... okay. <laughs> no more boot for Tavian. I'm putting my foot down. Which is just ironic in... because of the boot. <laughs> Yeah, you just impaled Ruby's little boot and you see... I batted away. Alexandra. Stab it. <laughs> you just said you would... Never... Okay, hey, yeah, you batted I... away. You look up to see Alexandra grinning from above. No, she... She wouldn't. She would have... After throwing the boot, she would have skittered away. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. Hilarious. Uh, that's the that's the uh, ruby inside. <laughs> that's the little ruby inside Alexander's braid going he 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 do the thing. <sighs> and while that happens, you see Impale has gotten a direct critical poke. <laughs> oh damn! It causes many sneezes on her scent. I'm being gentle in this case. Lynn, I say this is mainly because it's a gentle reminder that, well, no matter how well you block, sometimes things make it through. So don't feel discouraged. Keep blocking. Would Are you like me to be with my finger or would you like it with something else? Uh, whatever you, you feel comfortable with. Ah, yes. Trial by fire. And so what? I'll take... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright. Impale will take some step away. I would say about 40 feet away. To get under a position. And they're not holding any knives. They're just simply just standing there. Kicking the ground a little bit. Get it steady. Now. Why I mentioned this, Lynn, is that... If you're able to block an arrow, if you're able to block a finger, you can block many dangerous things. Now, block. As they point at them and suddenly does a... little thing that would maybe catch them off guard. If it worked. Come on! It's not working. Alright. Round two. Let me try this again. Boop. Oh my god. That's not what I was trying to press. I was well, trying to do an arrow. <laughs> even if it's an, an arrow, you still got a critical. Or so roll your no! damage. This is not what I wanted. Mm. Navi's gonna be mad at me. This is this is like Samuel's intended, but yours is accidental. And this always happens when you're doing this. <laughs> now it comes off cruel. But again, this is the very first time Impale ever used it, so I imagine they're even Not surprised. Just crossing her arms and staring at you. Okay, so roll that damage. Will you describe what happens, Gary? As he was just imagine Impale being like, "Oh, 
Like, yeah. Two phase. All the damage I will first. definitely describe it, what happens. <laughs> so, it, the arrow is going through her. It, it's a just slipped under the shield and her eyes widen. And then it's no longer her. It is the familiar sight of Tavian as the arrow plunges into their chest and lodges itself in, strangling their breath for a moment. <laughs> Fuck. I pull the arrow out. <sighs> and drop it on the ground. <laughs> right. No weapons during training with her. She's not used to it yet. The half mass starts glowing out smoke, and then immediately stops smoking. Um, <laughs> fair enough. Understandable. Have a nice day. Robotically starts walking away. <laughs> was that an actual fire arrow, or was it just an ordinary arrow as well? Why I mention is like I was gonna. I accidentally pressed the fire bolt spell. Hmm. This would have been the arrow damage, but the big thing is, is that effectively you were planning for that, oh. but you just unleashed fire instead. Correct. It's like instinct took over. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it wasn't an arrow. I got hit with a out of flame. Uh, I think I'm yep. resistant to fire in this form. I don't think you are in this one. No, it's not this one. But I will say, but basically impale very much was not intending. Smoke plumed, and then they make the part smoke disappear as they just like stutter a bit and they go like, I will be on my way. Hold on. You yeah. made a mistake, he says, wiping the singed off the front of his armor. But you are being an effective teacher. The poking method was good. I think you should keep going. And if you're looking to do ranged attacks, Tavian throws her, uh, throws her one of Ruby's boots. <laughs> It's always the old method. And I got what? my own. Takes off their own boots. Because mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, uh, Lynn's not allowed to be done until you nail them with one of your shoes. Correction. Both of my shoes. So they may feel the dirt from them. In a nice way, I'm being kind. Right. Uh, Tavian will then walk backwards not, and sit down. Um, Do not hurt them. I don't think they were trying to. I know. I didn't even know I can do that. Honestly. I'm warning them. Not to do it again. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Alright, well, good luck with the training there. Uh, I'm going to... And he just starts walking inside. I'm going to go take a dip in the fountain. <laughs> and he is legitimately going to go sit down in the fountain. Proceeds to throw boots at Lynn. Oh my god, I keep rolling damn high. There's another smack in the face from a boot. As she now has an imprint of a boot on her face. At least it's only two damage, technically. That's true. That's true. Why are you proficient in boot? <laughs> I am proficient in throwing things. Only in throwing. <laughs> oh boy. Raise your shield, my good. Well, I can't say puppy. That doesn't work. That's for only one person. Regardless, keep it up, Lynn. Ah! <laughs> you got a small scowl from her, but she'll keep on trying. 
Just give me three quick rolls and we'll have that be the training. Hit, hit, and hit. <laughs> Don't smack, smack, smack as more boots just impact her. And then she gives up for now. <laughs> She's just been bullied. <laughs> mm. Well, to be fair, you're having them roll at advantage. <laughs> not oh, not at idiot. advantage. It's just I forgot to turn off. Yeah, it, it's a hit either way. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. On the majority of those. <laughs> just, one it's more just boots. The final one. Just oh. as she gives up, you end up hitting yourself in the face with the boot. You go to swing it, but it just slips out of your hand, and then just the heel of it goes right in the middle of your mask. Getting a giggle from both the cat and the dog. I am glad your spirits are raised by my tomfoolery. Ah, cheerfulness of all things. Put the boots back on. Ah, well, for the time being. I gotta be busy and get ready for a large show of mine. Uh, I, I wish you luck with your show. Sorry, I was just dramatically posing for the time being. Um, it's a it's a private show. Don't mind it. I hope your training goes well. And then Pale stops standing there awkwardly and starts walking off in a direction. And as Impale, I am just waiting for, well, that big moment. As probably, maybe they'll stop by looking to Tavian, who goes to take a soak. Gives Tavian a pat on the shoulder. And then just continues on. Just a nod. Definitely looks like he wants to say more, but can't. Hey Tola, why don't you join me? Badacha. All of the timid Tavians are gone, motherfucker. <laughs> so, Alexandra, what are you doing while everyone's just doing that? Uh, enjoying her morning as no one is bugging her, for once. Outside of Tavian. Well, that was just them waking you up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you get one. your tea, your breakfast, have a nice relaxing morning. Not even Ruby bothers you, surprisingly. That's the first something's going on. Something's wrong here. Where is Ruby? Do you don't know. Hey mom, have you seen Ruby recently? Um, I can't say I've seen her. I'll, I'll assume she's either asleep or is raiding the kitchen cabinets at this point. Hmm. What if she was kidnapped? I, I very much doubt. 
Yeah, she would eat her way through the wall. And she would not go quietly. She's a very loud girl. No, no she would not. Well, how was your night? Sore... What? Okay. I know you. You're smiling. I meant I got beat the fuck up, and it hurt. You're alive, you're kicking, and if you had any bruises, they've healed. Yeah, it's because... For whatever reason, our universe dictates that if you sleep for eight hours, all wounds are cured. No, that's just a blessing from the moon. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're alive and kicking and you seem relieved as if some tension has lifted from you. Well... It's nice to be neck and neck rather than behind. Things could definitely be worse. And besides... I... Things are being... more... okay. I think I've gotten a bit better at dealing with, with everything that's going on. So there's that. Well, let me know if there's anything I could do to assist. No, we're here. We can help if we can. I know. I think... I'm not quite sure what's next on my to-do list for the day outside of interrogation. Um, it's kind of just to the point where things brain work no more I exist does that make sense? it sounds like you're tired and needed even more sleep it's fine we both know it's not well they're not gonna wait I don't have a chance to. Enemies at the gates and all that. Well, we'll make sure to hold the fort. And your father should be back in a few days. That's good. However, that does mean that the force that was left to keep an eye on the island is being pulled back for the safety of the city. Hmm. Yeah, we got pirates to watch the island, it's fine. Pirates? Hmm. 
Are you sure right. you can trust pirates not to try and take advantage? Especially if they know there's something there that people want. I think the information I gave him about what's guarding that particular island might sway their particular more greedy ambitions. Not a lot of people like to mess with dragons. Not everyone's dead. Quite true. Well, let's hope they keep the end of the deal you've made. Well. Certainly wouldn't be a bad idea to have a, um... Warship on hand. Something guarding the island. A scout ship or something along the lines. Just to keep an eye on the area. See if the king would allow such a... Vessel to be dispatched. Ah, uh, well... We'll have to see if we can work that out. I do know everything is tense quite now, and forces are being called back to reinforce the city. Hmm. Hopefully the king's not foolish enough to take away forces from strategic and vital locations. We just gonna have to do what we can. Hmm. I was knew there was a teeny bit spawn in this. Well, what are you gonna do? I wouldn't say the king is spine. <laughs> he's worried for his family. I would say he's worried about his city more. True. You do need to remember he's the one that pushed forward a purge of his entire nation. I wouldn't what? call someone that did such a tyrannical thing spineless. <laughs> no, I'm well aware. Spineless is not necessarily the right word to use in that situation. Describe the man. No, he's... He might not be seeing the big picture. He might be seeing the threat to the city and not the threat to the kingdom. Does that make any sense? It does. Well, for now, if we have a chance to relax, to breathe, and then you need to get your job done. Maybe. Hopefully. Either way, I'll have to get done. It's a... Speaking of which, it looks like the pancakes are ready. Woo! Pancakes. And that's when you find where Ruby is as you lift up the platter and see just a bloated Ruby underneath. <laughs> and no pancakes. 
Alexandra just closes the platter again. And then just stands up, puts her hand over the top of the planter, platter, and it just does not move. There is moments before there's kicking and scraping. Yeah, there you go. There she realized her mistake. So how long should I keep her in here? Just a few moments before she ends up breathing and cooking. Hmm. Oh, she's found her breath? Oh, she's found her breath. It's, it's a bit different. It seems to be focused on a single hot line over a area, which is your own. Hmm. She used it to burn through a lock. Which was a little bit of a pain. Hmm. Was it the lock to the kitchen? It was a lock to the kitchen. I was wondering how that melted. We're getting someone to repair it, but... You might need to make it out of something else besides metal. Maybe stone. Well, stone, if it gets too hot, it'll just crack. I don't know, maybe just try and discipline your daughter for once. Mm. I'm gonna die now, aren't I? Uh, no, though. As she says that, you suddenly feel something very hot searing into your ear. Uh, Alexandra will make herself fire immune. As she looks. There is now a hole. And there's no Ruby. Just a melted hole just through the metal. Huh. That's going to be a problem. Mm-hmm. I blame you. And you can't say I'm wrong in doing so. I can't, but I can also say you were just as bad. I never melted a hole through a dinnerware on purpose. Mostly. Alexandra just leaves. She's just giving you a look as you're going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess Alexandra is going to make her way to the basement. And uh, I'll go ahead and just message you um, the questions I'm going to ask under Zone of Truth. And will the rest of the group be joining you? Uh, she'll make an offer to everyone. You already know my answer. answer. Yeah, Tavian goes with as well. Uh, you find him in the fountain. Why are you in the fountain? Tola fireballed my chest. I mean, uh, he says impale. I fucked up that. Impale fireballed my chest. Hmm. Hmm. 
that an innuendo for something? He literally shows the scorch marks. So it's like a kink thing or something? We were training Lynn and she fucked up and did something she didn't know she could do, so I jumped in front of Lynn like I always do. Mm. Fucking hurts. Yeah, uh, I would like to note that that fireball, a uh, firebolt that she did, uh, I think knocked me down to, uh, knocked a whole third of his HP away, almost down to half. Yep, it was very powerful. Well, uh, uh, a third of his HP would be 25 damage, I think it did 27. <laughs> Honesty will be heavily encouraged. <laughs> AKA if you don't fucking answer the questions or uh, fall under the zone of truth spell, we'll beat your ass. Well, if the entire group is heading down, we can have these questions asked. Mm -hmm. Now, V, will you be joining? Oh yeah, absolutely. I know Impale is, and is Tavian. Uh, yeah, he goes, um, it's gonna be a few days before his thing, so he's definitely going. Yep. Okay. Do... Oh, wrong music. Nope, 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 nope. Well, you've heard that one before. Oh shit, is Lin transforming again? What that wasn't Ling transforming. Oh. That is a different sound. So, you'll be able to head on down. I believe this is Tavian's first experience down here mm -hmm. I mean, so you see the high five of the statue before it grinds to the side and a little swing to the left okay that's a little ridiculous and i love it yeah you can think great well two royal inquisitors go for that one mm. The whole estate has fun little secrets like that. Not to mention the island estate. Yeah, that place is creepy. Island estate. We technically own a small island. Has this never been got up before? No. Yeah. Yeah, we have that. We use it as a uh, small port, general supply station, and um, uh, training facility. And also just kind of a getaway from the city. It's a bit of a distance to travel to. Anyways, interrogations. Just a nod. And so you'll be led down. Taving, you'd see a pile of corpses just piled up as you're led through the stone with what lighting I assume Alexandra once again provides. Yep. 
guiding through the empty but bloodstained stones, leading to the isolated stone chambers. Most of which sealed. Let's go ahead and start with Kajar. This is going to be the most. bitchy. Probably. And I got like 20 minutes before I got a dip. Okay. Knock, 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 open up, FBI, you don't have privacy anymore. You knock on down, but he is gagged, so he can, you can't really hear him before you push on through. Mm -hmm. Bound as he is, one shoe missing, one sock missing, he's at least dried from the soaking that Navi gave them. But you would also see that they've changed in appearance since you last saw them. Mm. Their complexion paler. Their veins seeming to have blackened. Their lips a bit more puckered, and their eyes are bloodshot as they look up to you. So, this is the visage of a traitor. I'm going to remove your gag now. Is that okay with you? He just looks at you. You're not gonna bite me or anything like that, are you? Still just looking at you. I will say from my experience, he's not much of a biter. I can say, though, I wonder if you're interested in to see what he has inside of his mouth. Oh, now you've gotten me curious. Were you able to get some information out of that? Well, Jeeves, did you get any info on what I asked? I've looked into the symbol, but I couldn't find any records of it, unfortunately. Sad. And a tooth. I've got some pliers. Ugh, a gruesome sort of things. I'll let Alexandria decide. To be honest, we have all the tools necessary for such things here. It's not uncommon for that to happen down here after all. Right, um... I hate to ask, but uh, what symbol? Hands them one of the masks. And you would see the symbol of an eye with what looks to be crisscrossing lines on it, almost as if someone's attempting to sew it shut. Hmm. I'm guessing that's a religion roll. Not for this one. Really? Well then ignore this because I can't cancel it. So, what would the uh, roll be? It would be Arcana. Oh. Alright, oh, shit. Fourteen. Not as nice nope. as I thought. You do not recognize it. Yeah, I don't got a clue. So, anyways, Mr. Kajar, are you going to cooperate with my questions? Have you removed the sock? She will remove the sock. His mouth has dried as he smacks his lips and leans back. As much as possible. Hmm. Well, you're going to submit to my truth of zone. Or I'll 
else punishments will assume. Understood? This is one of those things you know if they've resisted. Yep. If I remember correctly. So, there's no resistance. He knows his magic, after all. Hmm. What is your full name and your role in your organization? My full name is Gabriel Aliv Kajar, as I'm sure you know. And I'm not part of any organization. Do you know who is trying to sink the city? I do not know exactly, but I have suspicion. They are. Some resurrected individuals from the deep down seeming to have been revived by some other power. I believe that strange one with the tendril was one of them. Well, they could have also been brought back by some other means. I'm not entirely sure. They might just be puppets. Really, they don't seem to be structured. Hmm. Honestly, they seem like fools with no real power. How did you acquire the funding for your operations? Funding for my own operations. I'm Gabriel of Kajar. I have plenty of funds to do whatever I please. How long were you a slaver bastard? I myself am not a slave. I just partook in the games. Do you know any other slavers operating in the city? Yes. Names. Let me think for a moment. Pull up my notes. Uh, well, if you're just looking for slavers, there's Serena Pop. I believe they're one of the royal captains. Quite good at smuggling. Any others? For slavery in particular? Well, I can't say I know if they're slaving themselves, though I do have a suspicion of some. Answer my questions, stop being coy. Okay, I wouldn't know if they're another slaver, but they do partake in the game, says William Hume. They're a bit of a... I wouldn't say full no, but they are someone of enrichment. And... Then there's, as he, they try to say the other word, just a dark shade of blackness courses through them for a moment. Deeming to cause them pain and prevent them from speaking. Uh, I cast Identify on the person because I can identify a spell affecting a person. Okay. Uh, for this, you basically see that it seems to be inflict wounds that has been triggered by something, mm -hmm. causing them to be suffering pain. It seems to be focused around the mouth area. I mean, the Gios spell. <laughs> it exists. Be the spell. Before, did it inflict wounds instead of the 4d10 psychic damage? <laughs> 
But not trying to be killed, they're just being silent. That's fair. Mm. So it's just fair like enough. a modified Gios. Interesting. Can I tell where the magic's coming from? Do... Sorry. Uh, as I said, it seems to be coming from the mouth area. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably with some, something with the symbol. Do you have any external allies that support your endeavors? External out Like, outside of the kingdom? Outside of the kingdom, outside of your power structure, but otherwise have similar goals. I've got quite a few friends in my gaming community. Mm -hmm. As you've experienced. Names. Well, that's the funny thing. We, I don't actually know their true name. As you've seen, that kept obscured. Why are you fighting us? I'm not. Why do you want to see this kingdom fail? I, in particular, don't want to see this king fail. Nor do I care to fight you. The only reason I got in that situation is that you attacked my manor. Mm-hmm. I'm just... enjoying my own luxuries. And as you see, you've... pushed things a little too far for me. What other cities or strategic locations do you happen to know that you or organizations that you have previously been affiliated with have infiltrated? Previous... Could you rephrase that for me for a moment? Just Your make sure allies. I... You fucking... Those... Fuckers you came in and fought us with. Oh, those? Well, I believe those bodyguards were just mercenary hired. I believe they were called the E Guard. The ones with the whips. Oh, those. I believe they were subordinates of. Well, I believe they were. Requested by the Tendril one that reached out for us. The one with. The one that called them. Oh, what was the name they called themselves by? Oh, right, they called themselves Otola. Mm hmm. It was quite intriguing to see they had such connections with someone that can just negate wounds. A powerful individual. I myself am not too connected to that one, but I have heard of them. A few monikers they go by. The witch doctor. The one that claim the shadow in the mirror. They've got a few names, though I don't believe they are the one that works with movers themselves, just the one that deals with them. How did you get your hands on such mirrors? I didn't. Well, let me clarify. I made a deal with mm. a merchant that required them, and in doing so, I was able to... Who was the merchant? Who was the merchant? I yes. believe you already know of them. I believe you have them in custody, or did. I'm not sure what happened to them. They went by the name of Hanabi, after all. Hmm. Oh, fuck. That's the girl that got Samuel, isn't it? Yep. The girl that got Samuel's Fetoria. The different one. 
fuck was Hanabi? Yeah, Hanabi, Hanabi is far worse. Hanabi's glory's drug dealer. Mmm. Right, the, the other one lady. The one specifically just, the one mm -hmm. I said don't fuck with. Yep. All right. Do you have any idea where the tentacled one might use as a hideout? I can't quite say why such a mad creature would, especially after seeing them burning their own allies. I thought they were a bit more of allied mind. They were very convincing, after all. But it seems I was mistaken on that part. Mm -hmm. You've made a lot of mistakes in your life. I would disagree with that, but as you can see, I'm currently bound in chains. I can't really agree with disagree with you. Hmm. Do you happen to know anything about the missing people across the city? There's a small cock of a brow there. The missing people? There's a moment of consideration as they're trying to sing. Hmm. I have heard, heard of that. I can't quite say I'm not sure. Maybe they've been taken by thriving slavers, but... I can't be sure on that I've not been involved in any of the missing people myself. Do any of you have any burning questions for this man? Do you regret any of your blood money? My Blood money? Are you talking about the ones I've been gaining from gambling? Gambling on the lives of others, yes. I can't say so, no. After all, that was the entertainment of the, the place. Mm. Many were taking part there. From all over the lands. I'm guessing you didn't enjoy the tower. Have you ever encountered a substance called mercury oil? That is an extremely rare substance. A deadly one as well. Seen it on special markets. It's not something I would get myself. It's a bit too telling once you've got it, but I do know of it. My, my, how did you get hold of something like that? Why do you look the way you do? Oh, addiction. To what? A special substance. It goes by quite a few names. It's something that those in the towers are able to enjoy at leisure while they're relaxation. Did you not get a chance to partake of it yourself? Name the substance. Giving the DM a moment to just check their notes to make sure they have the name. Apologies. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh it's... they do have the name. <laughs> it's called Ica. I believe it's made from some quite rare materials. Yes. Quite rare indeed. Alexandra kicks him in the nuts. Roll the hit. With advantage, because he's currently basically on the floor in front of you. <laughs> Which Jesus. should be his armor class, considering he's fucking restrained and not in armor. Yeah, it's just a hit. Can't use his dexterity at the moment. 
of really now such barbaric natures. I, uh. I assume that you're not too worried about the things about that kicking. I think you're more worried about that you don't get your next fix. Is that correct? I wouldn't say I wouldn't miss my next substance, but I don't think I'm going to get that here, am I? I mean, the problem is your dealer is the said person possibly named Hanabi, right? Right? I can't say I haven't gotten it before, but I mostly get what I need during the game. Oh, ho ho, he knows where he gets more of it besides that one. It seems you're familiar with Hanabi, with the way you speak. Trick of the trades. I keep myself busy. That's my job. I'm an entertainer. I make connections. Hence why Sir Alexandria here likes me around. I see. Well, as you can see, I'm not really in the position to request anything, especially not from barbarians. Hmm. What type of assets have you squirreled away that weren't in your ledgers? Now that is an interesting question, isn't it? I can safely say all those assets are no longer in the kingdom. How many of them are people? Oh. Thinks for a moment. Well, if you're talking about my subordinates, I'll say there's quite a few. I don't keep slaves myself. Hmm. After all, Where when you can have have... people so the, I ask the questions, you give answers. Where did they go? Some have taken to the north, some to the south, some moving to a island, to the wildlands. Location names. You're asking Gary for information he hasn't thought up yet. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I've been on this. I, I've been on the receiving end of this, Gary. <laughs> I know. I, I. The the thing is, I have the details in my head, but it's like exact locations. I need to pull up my map. Uh, you can you can just say he gives the names. I gotta go in like five minute, man. Yeah. Say that he gives some names and locations, so they're certainly outside of the borders of Alnora. Does anyone else have any questions for this man? No. Good. We'll keep you alive for now, Gabriel. The crown needs its head. And she'll close the door. I am so violently angry right now. I feel oddly calm. That's the worst part. This is a calm anger. Or could be from my time period, which means that could be another one oh, of my fuck ups. She's probably not. But I can tell you, she is old. Right. She keeps popping up. Well, Ancient. to clarify, G speaks up. We could always ask. 
glory to check to see if the arm will work for what they requested. They needed something from Tavian's time, after all. I also mm. needed a bit from the sea bitch from my time, specifically. Is that not what you are hoping the arm to be? Yes. Hmm. I'll deliver that quickly, and then... You know what, it's right down the room. Do, 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 do. Knock, knock. Um... I'm in here, yes. Uh, who is it? Sir Alexander August Sakar of a very pissed off nature at someone else. Uh, but feel, feel free to come in. Alright. Hi. Can I offer you a hand? Um, sh sure. Um, you can take a seat over there and help me check over my notes hmm. or do you Not mean a real arm twist of a situation don't we uh, do we I I'm sorry I don't know what's going on he pulls there. out the arm oh you were doing puns I'm sorry I don't get them that often um and and this is the arm of an individual named Old Hola. Okay, bring it forth. Um, is this one of the items I requested, or do you think it is at least? It should be a part of a Seabitch's follower from Tavian's ancient past and very much undead. She takes the offered arm as she collects some devices to the side. Setting them over a size and picking up a knife before plunge it in into the flesh and seem checking the interior as blackish blood to pool out from it. Hmm. Seeing the age of this, seeing that it still seems to be maintained and functioning despite its darker nature, I'll say this most. Certainly will function. Oh. That's good. Just so you know, we're... We have to assume we're neck and neck with our... Adversaries in this pursuit. We have to assume that they have a individual of your capability amongst their payroll. And we have to assume... That they have everything that they need. With the exception... Of the flower. Then we're just that much closer to doing that. Perfect. We're almost there. And looking over his shoulder, you see that the shape of the material you're given has been taken almost egg-like shape behind it. Not quite complete, but is getting there. After we collect everything we need, it'll be quite the trip, wouldn't it? To go down to the temple in the depths. Well. Keep working. I have more interrogations to um complete. Um, good luck with that. Eh, it's gonna be something. Roll me a perception check as you're stepping out. Okay, you step out, not noticing anything. Navi, are you down here? Yes. Uh, yes. With your natural perception, you can hear choking coming from the room that Alexandra has just stepped out of. Uh, I will rush in. Brushing over Alexandra's shoulder, you'll step in and see the arm has animated, is now currently choking around the neck of Gloria. 
as she's struggling to get it off. Try and rip that off of her. Just give me, a, give me an athletics or. I don't know. Give me an athletics roll as you rush over and try to pull off the gripping fingers. Not gonna go well. Oh, that is the wrong one. Oh, hey! What do you mean it's not gonna go well? That's a natural 20. You rush over, grabbing at the fingers, say, Alexandra, I need help! And then you just pull as the fingers snap in a surge of motherly nature's strength and you pull it back. Um, never mind. I got it. See, you're stronger than you think. The hand, broken as it is, will end up just doing a broken peace sign towards you and Alexandra, as it seems. It's almost mocking you both, while uh, Gloria herself off. is gasping while holding her neck. I'm gonna flip it off. The hand shakes almost if it's Either angry or amused, it's difficult to say it's, a, it's an arm and a hand. So, uh, either this thing has a mind of its own, or they can see through it. That's problematic beyond belief. Okay. Um, that explains why they were smiling when they gave it to you, Alexandria. That would. Um, could, could I have some help binding this? It's... Yes. Uh, yes, and we'll likely have to find a new location for you, as this place is no longer considered anywhere near secure. Oh, that's not good. Um, I, I, okay, give me, give me a moment. She'll step onto the carpet and then begin stepping down as she sinks into the carpet. I'll, I'll just be a moment. And she just vanishes as the top of the carpet ripples. Okay, that's new. Jeez, did you know the carpet could do that? Um, I I was not aware. No, that that came with her. I'm I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Portable whole carpet. Very much so. Well. Uh, I was going to tell her that, yeah, we don't have to leave yet, but we gotta find a new location, so... Hmm. Well, for the moment, she's gone, and it looks like she's not coming back quite yet, as you're oh, waiting. Yeah. Jeeves, do you mind when she gets back clarifying the situation? I'm gonna go ahead and start the interrogation on these other prisoners. Right away, ma'am. As he'll move up to rest at the doorway. Thank you, Jeeves. And I'm gonna go to bed. Because I gotta wake up and, like. Less than f six hours. Okay, that's perfectly fine. And I'm assuming you're going to keep up the aura for the rest of the group if they'd like to oh, continue absolutely. this. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it should be. Using, using all those sort of truths. And she will be asking each of those questions I sent you. Okay, noted. Like, to each person. In that case, I wish you a good night, and who would like to continue asking questions? Or would you like to save that for next session? Um, hard to say. Do you know what the questions are? Well, what questions would you, as the group, would like to ask? I have a list of questions Alexandra would like to ask. It's basically a repeat of what they asked Gabriel. Okay. I mean, the problem with my questions, I can't explain yet why. What about you, Tavian? If you're talking, we hear nothing. We do not hear you, T-Money. 
Yeah, no, if T uh, money that is oh, that is recorded. impressively bad. <laughs> that is uh, Jesus. It, no, uh honestly he's just unless I was asked to ask questions. Not really. I believe someone is here that could very well use a puppet for their questions. I glance over to the dancing in pale. Yeah, if she needs somebody to ask questions for her, she needs to send me questions to ask. I mean, here's the thing, too. It's like, mm -hmm. Alexandra knew what kind of good questions to ask, but we could play it like this, then. Mm -hmm. So, Tavian, the big thing that probably would occur is, well, if you're going to interrogate two other people, first, do you want to talk to Kajar any further? No, absolutely not. I have no interest in that man. Okay. Then pick your choice. We have uh, Boulder and we have Fang. You already checked out Boulder earlier. I checked them out. I never asked them questions. Yeah. I checked both of them. Okay, then... I'll flip a coin. <sighs> Heads for Boulder, tails for Fang. Tails. So we go into Fang. Fang is the most battered out of everybody here. Yeah. They went unconscious several times. Three times, and I was responsible for two of them. A natural 20 bringing them up, and then magic bringing them up another time before. Yeah. But they're there, scorched, the wounded. As I look up to you with a growl. <sighs> right, what is it that you want? Well, we're gonna have this wonderful situation where you uh, tell us everything we need to know. My friend Alexandra here is going to ca uh, is has a zone of truth cast, you are going to willingly fail. If you do not, things get difficult. We have a small smile there. Bloody but too fair. Or well, let's see what happens then, won't we? Figured as much. Right then. Uh, I guess Alexander does the thing and he needs to make a save. Yep, yep, yep. Which which I'm going to do right now. I don't know what the fuck her safe says. Oh, that's a fail. Okay. So Alexandra will inform you that he's attempted to resist but failed. Actually, no. I, do they know they attempted to resist? Yes. Or it's just they okay. Also know that they failed. Yep, uh, they know they attempted but they failed. Just ah, wonderful. Who are you, and why the hell are you here? I am Fang Eclair. It's annoying that I can feel this compulsion. Mm. Pleasant. And for why I'm here, I had a job given. And I had to complete it. He just shakes his head. Who gave you this job? The one that's bound me in chains. A name. The Witch Doctor. You can definitely roll for something. You're also very quiet, so you might want to fix your mic. Oh, I'm, I'm being quiet on purpose, you know why? You, no, you are very far away from the mic, it sounds like. Yep. Oh, hold on. Yes. Oh god, now she's just disappearing. Into the ether. Better? 
Oh, that's yes, way better. much better. But yeah, I'm being quiet because technically, I'm sending things to Tavian. Mm -hmm. No, no, we you were quiet because you said words and we could not hear you. <laughs> yeah, that's why I had to clarify. Yeah, no, just, right. Well, what was the job and how were you supposed to complete it? The job was simple. We were meant to distract the individuals getting involved in the matters of that old Tola and keep them busy as their plan, whatever it was, was enacted. We were, of course, not informed that said individual would backstab us the moment they could for their own entertainment. Right. But then again, there was inf oh, bits of information are usually not shared with us. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> so, Otola and the Witch Doctor are working together? It would appear so. Or at least there's been a deal made. Something that the Witch Doctor finds worthwhile. Or at least it's entertained them. It's difficult to say with that creature. So she would know where or how to get in touch with the Witch Doctor. That would be the case. <laughs> Interesting. Do you know what Atola is planning? Otola from, at least what I've heard from them rambling, is seeking a permanent end. I do not know what that means in particular, but it does not seem that they have any self-preservation self instinct. They are utterly mad. So they seem to be very suave and convincing from that fool to the th that other room was say I could hear you from here. Hmm. Seems she's very good at convincing people to work for her. Right. Now when she says a permanent end, was she describing the city or herself? I don't know. I've only heard her rambling to herself. The moment I started hearing her muttering to herself, I realized this was not a job I wanted to be on, but I can't quite deny a job once been taken. Mm. Not from the witch doctor. Do you know anything about the kidnappings that have been happening in the lower cities lately? There's a moment of silence that goes over that as if he's considering. You know what? Yes. Yes, I do. I think we might need to push on that more, Tavian. Yeah. And, uh, before I push on that, I'll follow up with a question. Why do you not break jobs from the Witch Doctor? Are you in fear of retaliation, or...? It's simple. Every promise he get every deal he makes is bound by magic you could try to dispel it but that'll just trigger the worst case effects which can take something from you it can be anything it could be a memory it could be an organ it could be an eye i'm not gonna risk that
you might think you have, but there's always a price. Even if it is broken. Just not apparent in the moment. Interesting. Of course, it could be something made by one of his apprentices. Those ones do not have quite the same power. There is not a magic in this world that can't be dispelled without negative effects. You just gotta know what you're doing. But away from that, back to the missing individuals. Do you know who is kidnapping the people in the lower city? I believe it's a mixture of individuals. Otola is one of them. And I believe it's somehow tied to what the witch doctor has agreed with her about. Would you know where Otola is keeping the people that she has kidnapped? I can't say I know that's okay. No. Do you know who would? Other than the witch doctor. The, the witch doctor themselves, certainly, as you've said, and maybe any of his deal makers. Do you know of any of the deal makers in this city? He goes quiet on that one. It would be best for you to answer. No, no, it wouldn't. You can just kill me, but. Answering that would do something worse. Oh. Fine. And plus, if you tortured me, that's just going into my worship, so bring it on, really. Oh. You serve a god, do you? Which one? There's a brow raised for a moment. You took my whips and you don't know? Well, I guess you're a bit uneducated. Lanishra, the main god of my kingdom, my people. Right then. Do you know Hanabe? Or how important they are? What their job in this is? Do they work with the Tola, or do they work with the Witch Doctor? What was the first part of that question? I didn't hear uh, it. That's do a... you know who Hanabe is, or how important they are, and where her allegiance lies? There's a blink for a moment as he's mulling over that name. Hanabe. Hanabe. Oh! That name does ring a bell. I don't think they're affiliated with Eva, but I do know she's got quite a lot of connections. And she's... I wouldn't know if she's powerful, but she has enough to have her own little empire of connections. Surprised you know that name. Yeah. Honestly, me too. Social connections can be a hell of a power itself. You just give me a moment. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Well, I did. Yeah, I was about to say. Um... Oops. Let me fix that. There you go, Tavian. I was trying to answer a question in whispers for you. Thank you, Gary. Any other questions? If you want to know of my faith, I'm eager. To regale you with the truth of it, but I don't think that particularly interests you from the lack of 
proper zeal in your eyes. No. No, it doesn't. It's not one of the three that I care about at the moment, so... Well, then anything else, I'm here. How long have you worked for the uh, for the witch doctor? About twenty two years. Since I was an orphan on the streets, I'd say. the witch doctor hunt people down? Specifically people who have either escaped from him or, I don't know, like yourself, have been captured? People he would probably kill to keep silent? Hunting people down. I can't say it would, I wasn't put him past him, especially if people have crossed him. It really depends on what they've done. Some just don't interest him enough to bother with them if they move away. It really depends on how important that that escape them is. Mm -hmm. Also depends if they've made a deal. A deal has been made and they themselves have to honor it. It's a two-way street. Is he hunting anyone down at the moment that you would know of? At the moment, let's think. I am unsure. It's he hasn't given me a job to hunt anyone down, at least. Right. How would you know if somebody was important? Specifically for him to care enough to hunt them down. It depends on who they've made a deal with. Mm -hmm. Like if they made a deal with the Queen, for example, that would one would whatever's tied to that deal would be important. Mm -hmm. And they would honor it as best they could. It really depend it's simple matter really. If they make a deal with someone in of power, someone that is useful for both of them. If that deal is cross both of the one that crosses it will lose too much. If it's someone that's weak, pitiful, even if they break it, they won't lose much. And they could just reclaim it because they could just take it by force. It's difficult to say. It's the witch doctor. I wouldn't really consider a person. They're more of a creature. Well then, that's interesting news. Would you consider them more fey? Maybe a fiend. They definitely sound devilish. <laughs> if they are something of that nature, I'd definitely say a fiend. They've sewn their mouth shut so they never speak or eat. They speak with their mind. They... Yeah, some of the things they've done disgust even me and my faith. Well, I 
I know that they sometimes impart tattoos or scarring on people that they've worked with. Oh, the broad. Mm-hmm. What is that? What does it do? How does that work? It depends on the particular brand that's given. Mm -hmm. Each one has a purpose. And the individuals that gain the mark, it really depends. If they're just someone that's meant to be traded or sold, they have a simple one. Not too much detail, not too much power. Not even usually bound to the flesh, but an object mm -hmm. instead. What if it's if... bound, oh, go ahead. What if they were more intricate and directly bound to the flesh? Then that one has a higher purpose, something that I myself can't quite understand. I do know that those that gain such marks are usually tied to some someone in particular. Like, they already have a purpose set. And if one of those people escaped, would they be something that they would hunt down? Oh, that's most certain. Those people have been bound to a deal that would have them marked. In fact, the only reason he wouldn't be chasing them with his full force is probably out of some other purpose I can't understand. As I said, it's a this creature is puzzling even for me. So, if they are not hunting down the individuals with the marks, those people either have a purpose that they have. They're either fulfilling their purpose by being away, whatever that purpose is, or the purpose is still marked with them and they can't quite escape it. Of, there's a third option as well, but I'm not really sure on that one. Might as well say it. Someone else was used as a sacrifice to replace them. What's the likelihood of that happening? Depends on the mood of the witch doctor. If they particularly find the moment entertaining, then they'll prolong it. If they're angry, then a sacrifice may be something to calm themselves. I don't even know if it's anger. It's, it's difficult to say. I can't quite read it. How very interesting. All right, you're still here. So glance over to the masked one. You got any questions for me? Hmm. No, I wouldn't say so. I do think that you've been pretty honest, honestly. Although, it does make me question of something else in mind, such as, well, how did you get end up with that woman over there? Pointing to Boulder. That's what I'd rather not say. Oh, I'm guessing they're your senior. That's what I imagine. <laughs> In the work underneath the witch doctor, then yes, I'd say they're my senior and the superior. Hmm. 
you know, maybe we should ask them now. I think you're provided enough of us to build a foundation to other questions. But it seems like you want to know the intricacies as much as they do. Am I correct? That's correct. That's also why I haven't been unable to speak. The fact that I'm able to tell you anything is... That is not important enough for it to be bound. Oh, I knew something you were hiding then. You were saying that very much that if you say the wrong thing, something happens to you. Hmm. That's correct. I thought you already figured that out. Oh, I'm aware. But it just means then you don't know enough to make it happen. Maybe I'll take over the questioning, Tavian. I don't think I can hold myself back a bit for the moment. Are you sure that's wise? I don't know. Do you think that's the right course of action for yourself? I have no clue. Nor do I have the mental mind to question it, honestly. If you question it for me, though, maybe. Let's just say I have a bit of myself lost in the conversation. I think it would be wise if you let me continue asking questions. Maybe then I should stand by Navi. Maybe... Maybe have myself be a distance a bit away. Yeah. Speaking of Navi, do you have any particular questions you'd like to broach with anyone here? Nope. Very well. Just wanted to give you a chance. I trust your words, Tavy boy. I will do as you say. I'll let you do the questioning. Yeah. Uh, on that note, it is 12.42 for me. <laughs> no worries, we could come back to this later. Yeah, because this is a lot of information that I am leaking right now because my brain is fried potato. Well, thankfully... Oh, good. Uh, thankfully, things are being recorded. Yeah, de wait, hold on. Say words. I'm saying words. Thank God it's it's words. still doing the recording. Double checking because it has been acting funky lately, and the last... I had two recordings back-to-back -back brick, and I don't know what happened with that, so had to had to check. Well, what I will say is that, honestly... <sighs> The only thing I would say, Tavian, is that you probably might need to roll an um, insight check. It's one of those rare moments where it's like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. I can roll an insight, and if it if it rolls fucking bad, I can add my fucking intelligence to it. Not that that's particularly high. Yeet. <laughs> I don't think it matters. Three. Doopy doop boop. Yeah, no, I, insiding is my worst stat. Literally, I think almost everything else is higher than inside. No, wait, perception is equal. Yep, I was about to say perception, what do you mean? <laughs> I even have animal handling for some fucking reason. <laughs> you just want oh, to get close to Navi. No, it's the folk hero background. <laughs> Which Basically, I have still yet to use. But I will... Probably when you um, impale said they will move to Navi, you're just like, okay, maybe they're just like unable to want to listen to this much. Who knows? I'm thinking that they're getting a little too close to this, <laughs> personally. Uh, who fucking knows? It's fine. Although I do need to roll. How many d20s? One, two. Yeah, you got a lot said there Three. that's stirring some things up for our poor... Poor Portel. Ain't looking good. I've been getting the average. 
I've been looking at all the numbers I got. I don't know what all this rolling is about. Well, we do know things get more difficult the more it's average. I thought it was the lower it was, the worse it was. <laughs> Correct. Ah, but average is just... No, then the average, if it's lower, means... Ew. I got a pretty middling average at the moment. 14s and negative 7 and a 5. You're still close to 10 for your average. That 5 is really bringing it down, though. Well, uh, the worst thing is that 20s and 1s are automatics. Yeah. So it's just turmoil. Fun thing. Yeah, trauma. I stick my friend Shape Tree. That also has super long arms and seems to have bigger antlers. Ah, uh, it's fun. You, you, your happy tree friend. Yep. She could hug I'm you really and break your spine. No, the tree I'll just stay by me. Navi and I'll keep connecting to your brain. Yeah, that's perfectly fun. Uh, if you want to write out those questions for next time, absolutely. I need to go to bed. I will do that later, but for now, I should also go to bed so that I can have my wubby be happy. That okay. would be for the best. Rest well, you two. On penis. Oh, come on, Gary, not you. Ah, <laughs> you, you were the chosen one, Gary. <laughs> you, hey, were it... you were supposed to bring balance to the recordings, not destroy them. Get fucked. Well, we did it. <sighs> yeah. For now, I shall bid you good day and penis. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> See you. See you.